so much for the playing my game. Hello, hello, friends. Welcome in. How are you? How is your Wednesday? I hope you're all having a good one. We will be starting here momentarily. I want to save this song. I really like this one. Boom. I'm putting it into another playlist. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. I think... I think everything is just about good to go. Double check, double check. Uh, okay, that's good. I think we're good. I think we're gonna swap over. <laughs> All right, and hello everybody. Welcome in, how are you today? Sassy, you were first. Thank you for the tweet reminder, I tweeted. Uh, and VMX Nelly, welcome in. How are you today? How's it going? Uh, let's see, you're happy the day is over. It's been a long, exhausting day. No! Sassy, what happened? Did they ever find that kid, by the way? You have a job interview at Wendy's? Nice. Nice, Nelly. That's awesome. I hope you get it. When's your interview? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Fonz, welcome in. I was tr just picking up my coffee when that happened, and it's like I haven't taken a sip out of it, so it's still very heavy. So I was like, oh, oh gosh, yeah, you did almost get me. <laughs> I'm, at <laughs> I'm at my most vulnerable while drinking coffee, so that feels about right. Uh, <laughs> by the way, today we will be watching the Nintendo Indies Direct, uh, and then we'll be hopping into more Sherlock. I think for now I'll switch the category just to just chatting, I guess, and then we'll we'll hop over. <laughs> Aren't we all? It's true. I <laughs> usually until I've taken the first sip. Nice Nintendo Direct. Let's go. I'm excited. I saw, like, I actually have sort of avoided Twitter today. Which isn't bad advice overall, but um, I saw that actually a lot of, like, indie companies were posting trailers, and I don't know if a lot of them are from the direct or if they're just sort of, like, kind of taking the opportunity to post updates while everyone is talking about indies. And so I just backed off Twitter. I was like, okay, I, I wanna see it. I wanna see it in the direct. Uh, the kid was at school today, so he must've been found. I didn't get a chance to talk to his teacher to find out what happened. Okay, well, that's good. You're going to the game awards, Opons? That's awesome. I'm Jelly. That must be so much fun. Have you ever been before or will this be your first time? A lot of us as a team, oh, that's so fun. I wanna go. <laughs> that's so fun. It'll, I, I bet it'll be really, I've never been in a situation where I've been like with people while they also announce certain things. Um, so it'll, it would be fun to like, they always, there are game awards. Yeah, there are the game awards. Um, uh, yeah, usually around December. Ignorant Lady Vanta. Um, yeah, so usually what they do is there are awards, and then there's also, like, video game announcements happening at the same time. Or, like, at the same show. Um, and I bet it'd be really exciting to see um, some of those announcements live with people. I don't know. I feel like that'd be fun. I don't think I've ever watched a single, like, Besides on stream, I don't think I've watched ever with other people really. So look at me learning new things. Yeah, we actually, we voted for them last year. Um, uh, yeah, that was last year, wasn't it? A Kena Bridge of Spirits was last year. <clears throat> a little known facts, we won an Oscar for a small documentary. Really? That's awesome, Ophans. What What's the documentary? 
We did? Yeah, I think we voted on stream. Or maybe I just mentioned it. I think maybe the year before we voted. I can't remember if we voted on stream or not. Oh, you know, it might have been, Sassy, that might have been during that time. <laughs> during the the sleepening of, of Sassy Lady Panda, where <laughs> you were just gone for, for for a bit. The Lost Week. It might have been. I don't I don't remember exactly when it was, but I'm sure voting has to have open soon. If it hasn't already. Um, Emmers, welcome in. How are you? I need to see those VODs. I, uh, I, have I uploaded? I actually need to do a whole bunch. I need to, I uh, just, I need to just do it all. I need to just have it all. <laughs> uh, it was a story of a lady that was part of an L of the LA resistance. Or is that La Resistance? <laughs> was there a resistance in LA? <laughs> I don't I feel like for the game Medal of Honor okay that's the French one okay that makes more sense <laughs> now that you mention it uh, <laughs> I read that as LA resistance I love that <laughs> I'm a dummy uh, <laughs> I think it's because you you live in LA so I was like LA resistance maybe he knows maybe he knows anyway <laughs> La resistance. Um, spam the YouTube channel 500. I might. I might as well. There. I. I don't know what I'm doing. I really need to. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do that one stream. <laughs> we'll just do a bonus stream where it's spam the YouTube channel, and I can just <laughs> apologize, and we can all just have it all together. Um. We could have like a, a study hall day. Maybe that's what we'll do. A study hall day, I will upload all of the videos and then also organize them into playlists or something. I'm pumped, hope to see some old friends. That'll be so exciting, Opants. I That would be so fun. That'd be so, so fun. Speaking of your YouTube, I watched the first episode of your Jenny LeClue playthrough last weekend. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, one, uh, how'd you like it? And also, wait, you've played it though, Sassy, right? Uh, if I recall, I think you played it with uh, with uh, your husband. Um, and maybe we will have something happening. Oh, Pons, <laughs> I'll be so excited. That'll be so exciting. I'll be like, I know somebody there. I'll look for you in the crowd. I commented it, I have played it. I think, uh, I, think I did see that actually, now that you mentioned that. <laughs> I need to respond. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look through the crowd and see if we can spot you. I'll take lots of pics to do it. That'd be so exciting. Maybe you should try to meet Jeff Keighley. <laughs> For no reason other than why not. Um, I think I remember... Did you play it shortly after you followed Sassy? I feel like that was really early on. Uh, Opons is going to the Game Awards uh, next month. Also, you said the you'll see, you'll all see thing. I told, oh, really? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I bet I can cause my big boss. Uh, I bet, oh, I bet I can, cause my big boss will be there. Oh, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, if you could also, like if I recorded myself in front of a green screen, just walking, um, could you just like, I, if I send you like a dozen USBs, could you just get that into the hands of all the popular like directors and just tell them to like put me in whatever game <laughs> you got it perfect <laughs> it'll just be there'll be no context it'll just be like jet walking forward and it'll be me like by walking towards the camera and then there'll be a three quarters and a profile um <laughs> and then uh <laughs> and then I don't know what else. Oh, also, actually, <laughs> if you see when you're sitting next to Sakurai, because I'm sure that's how seating charts work. Um, <laughs> pitch him the uh, the uh, stream underdogs idea. <laughs> Ask him why he hasn't responded to my emails. <laughs> 
Just kidding. <laughs> He's responded. Don't worry, everybody. Um. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Has anything else happened in the past 24 hours? We're going to play more Sherlock, but we're going to watch the Nindies direct. Hey, Sakurai, why won't you take any of our calls? It's me, <laughs> Jet. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, I followed in early August. I think I had played it shortly before that. I think you played it last year. Okay, okay, okay. That's fair. Um, maybe it was Biscuits that started playing it short, shortly after we did. Or, some, or after... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, time. Time is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> um, all right. How about we watch the Nindies, my friend? I'm very excited. Started playing it when I saw... Oh, Best Biscuit started, I think. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, was it? Oh, there was also something else I was going to say. But at this point, I have forgotten it. So we are going to... Uh, we're going to watch the Nindies Direct. Which is where Nintendo announces a whole bunch of, like, uh, indie games that are coming to the platform soonish. Going to move myself over here. There's a sequel. Uh, soon is d debatable, but they are working <laughs> on a sequel. Um, I think they have literally just started working on the um, uh, they just started working on like the pre-production stuff, like the early stuff. Okay, hold on. Ah! <laughs> I didn't want it to be too loud. Uh-oh, mature, everybody. Okay. I'll throw this behind me. Yeah, I, I don't know if they have actually... Like, I think they recently said on Twitter that they have just started working on it, basically. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and I also need to make a list. I need to have a list ready to go. Um, in the case, so that way I can remember what games I may want to play. So soon as in <laughs> sometime in the next five years. Yeah, I think that's that's probably more accurate. Uh, <laughs> all righty, everybody. Let's watch this. I'm excited. I'm excited. Still, still release dates being delayed. Got my notepad ready. Hello. Ready to start to typing. Indie World. I'm Mariko. And I'm Tyler. We're back with a showcase full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. Also, hold on. Am I just floating? I am just floating. That's my bad. <laughs> I just realized that. Anyway. Uh, okay, back to <laughs> back to this. I was just I was staring at my um, reflection thing like, wait a minute, I'm I'm floating. Uh, all right. Let us That was a false start. Let's Let us right begin. In. Oh, I've seen this, and I'm interested. Look at all this. It looks so good. <laughs> the art style. It actually reminds me of Every Night is Pizza Night. It looks like it'd be, it also has like a good, a neat story as well. <laughs> so it looks, I mean, I just lift it off the ground. V. 
Venba. Yeah, I think I, I follow the. I'm Sue. And I'm Shay. We're making a cooking game called Venba, which is about an immigrant Indian mother and her family coming to Canada in the 80s. Food often acts as a bridge between assimilated children and their immigrant parents, so we wanted to use cooking as a lens to tell the story of this family as they grow and change. We often see the kid side of these stories, but as we ourselves got older, we thought telling the parent side might make for an interesting change of perspective, and we hope you find it interesting too. Bon appetit and enjoy the show. Mmm, something smells delicious. Grab a spoon and get a taste of this wholesome narrative cooking game. Help an Indian mother who has recently immigrated to Canada reconnect with her heritage by cooking a variety of mouth-watering South Indian dishes. Experience oh, a story of love and loss through branching <laughs> conversations. Try to restore lost family recipes and bop along to a soundtrack inspired by Indian musicals. Start working up an appetite for Vemba coming to the Nintendo Switch system oh, next spring. I want it all both, of both the game and the food. <laughs> hey, Rico, ever wanted to make a game? Yeah, but it's a lot harder than you might think. Just I've seen someone play Kaini the demo to this. Kumade, two friends striving to find the perfect idea for their next game. Watch their story develop as you play through stages of a retro-inspired puzzle platformer while following their day-to-day -day struggles. Their recent games haven't exactly been raking in profits, so both of them must work part-time jobs to make ends meet. Will their friendship be able to take the strain of these challenges? Find out. I, the art style Goodbye in this game World is very good. It reminds me Nintendo of. Switch, <clears throat> it reminds me of um, uh, Eastward a little bit. Um, I, I the feedback that I heard from people was that the so it's like like a story based RPG for most of it and then there are like oh it's you almost play like a Kirby like game um in between these different like parts and i heard some people say that at the at, at least in the demo the Kirby parts were a little slow uh or like not super unique i guess and so it it felt kind of weird going back and forth but the story parts are pretty good so I'm hoping they have like updated it at least a little bit or added, you know, some more. But that was a well back when I saw that. Oh, have a nice step. That's uh that's a game that GBC has played. Slow or boring, yeah. <laughs> so I'll I'll probably wait for uh reviews once that comes out just to see if it's worth picking up. But I love the art style. Like, the art style is super, super cool. And it tells the story of, like, some, like, indie dev students. Or some game dev students, I should say. And then they're like, you're playing the game that they're making to play this in one. the story. It would be neat. a grave mistake to skip it. Don the robes of Death Incorporated CEO, Death himself in this grimly charming roguelike game. It looks like your subordinates have been it does, it, Every time I saw GVC play this, so I thought it looked fun. This looks cool, not for me. I hated Hollow Knight. I, you know, it's so there funny, Opons. I don't think I would like Hollow Knight. Scorching spells <laughs> at your disposal. Especially after we played a little bit of Rain World. As you hack and slash your way I was like, the corporate if this underworld. is anything One like Hollow Knight, I don't think I'm going to like it. You can't die. I own so Hollow Knight, but we just have never played it. Yeah, to I don't. overcome each department's vengeful minions and bosses. I enjoy watching others. Yeah, I don't mind watching other people nice play. I think I just need something a little bit Nintendo more. Switch, March twenty second. Like pre-orders begin later and today. Linear. IMO for me Bonjour, personally. Bonjour, je suis Justine. Mais moi. Bonjour. Passionné de films d'animation et après avoir travaillé sur des longs métrages, nous avons voulu créer un monde magique que l'on pourrait s'approprier. En effet, après avoir grandi avec des films d'animation traditionnels des années 90, il m'était naturel de dessiner un monde luxuriant, organique et peint à la main, avec une histoire qui, je l'espère, vous touchera. Merci. Merci. Is there anything yes. better than relaxing in nature I think I've seen enjoying this the on gentle sea well. breeze? What about doing both of those things while lying on top of a giant capybara? Oh, uh, I didn't know this was a capybara. In this game, you have one goal. Find inner peace on an isolated island paradise. As the retired warrior Akka, 
explore handcrafted islands covered in majestic mountains, dense tropical forests, and inviting hot springs. Spend your time here however you'd like. Nurture the island's flora and fauna, build a shelter, craft items, when? or feed these when? adorable baby when? dragons. <laughs> or go on quests to meet mysterious characters, friendly giants, and face the ghosts of your Beatrix past. Beatrix is Literally. a wasp? <laughs> Aka washes up on Nintendo Switch <laughs> December 15th. Yes. <laughs> Give it to me! Hey, what's this? I like music. The pixel style is very fun. I'm kind of, I know this is probably not the type of game that we normally play, but I'm kind of here for it. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> this looks like this will be difficult, but I, it looks very fun. Like it looks, yeah, it looks difficult. <laughs> Pepper grinder, oh, I love that. Writing it down, Pepper grinder. Can you dig this Oh, it's game? a devolver game. Yes, and oh, so yeah. can Pepper. This spicy, drill they really do. treasure hunter has been shipwrecked and robbed. Now, she must spin up her trusty drill grinder to reclaim what was stolen from her. Chew through the terrain, perform impressive maneuvers, and solve That's tricky fun. puzzles as you unearth collectibles for your gallery puzzles? and gather up pieces of the scattered riches. Cash them in to Peppa Pepper and upgrade Grinder with new drill bits. Ramp up the chaos oh, of the map fun. and open up even more areas to dig in this thrilling drilling adventure. Pepper Grinder burrows onto Nintendo Switch. Next year. That seems fun. Whew. Coffee talk. I think it's time we take a coffee break. Then pull up I've a chair. I thought about playing the first one. Coffee brewing, narrative driven visual novel is back coffee. for a second episode. As the barista of your own late night <clears throat> coffee shop, meet quirky characters, listen to their heartfelt stories, and get to know them one cup at a time, <laughs> all while enjoying the cozy local Look at that little cat. Not all of your customers will be human. I watched uh, X play the first one. It was odd. That's kind of what I gather. And many more fantastical regulars. Experiment I just think I would like to make to coffee. And just the right brew for you do coffee customer. art. Dazzle them with latte art masterpieces and uncover secret recipes that are sure to warm their heart. Relax and stay a while when Coffee Talk Episode 2 Hibiscus and I'm, I'm, it's tent I'm tentative Nintendo about Switch playing it. I think it, it should be, I think it could be fun, but we'll see. Who dad? Who's this little guy? Who's this little goblin? This seems really fun. <laughs> this looks like a Breath of the Wildish type of type of game. What is this? Look at this a little guy. Oh. Oni. Road to the to be the mightiest Oni. Take on the role of a vengeful demon warrior in this spirited 3D action adventure. After his defeat at the hands of a Japanese folktale hero, Kuta travels to a small island where he joins forces with the spirit, Kazemaru. Ancient demons lurk within vast meadows and lush forests. To defeat them, you'll control the both characters simultaneously using a single Joy-Con controller. Wield oh. Kuta's club to attack demons, then summon Kazemaru to draw out their spirit. But beware. Oh. Some demons are invincible, leaving you with no other choice than to flee the encounter. Can Kuta overcome his trials and become the most powerful demon? 
Begin your quest in Oni. Road to you be level the mightiest up Oni. March when 9th. When it comes to Nintendo Switch, March 9th, 2023. So far away, but I want it. Oh. I like this visual style. I know that's probably not the game it looks like, but I like this minimalist style they're going for. It's like, I'm getting dodgeball, but music or dancing or something, but also magic spells. <laughs> Desta, the memories between. From the creators of Monument Valley comes a character-driven, roguelite, metaphorical ball game? Every night <laughs> when Desta falls asleep, they enter a mysterious dream world filled with scattered memories of long-forgotten locations, faces from days gone by, and yes, powerful orbs for playing a surreal turn-based ball game. Use the orbs to pull off perfect throws, shoot sneaky trick shots, and change the course of conversation. As the night progresses and you fall deeper into a sweet slumber, you'll unlock new abilities and ways to overcome so this, is, this is like Mario Rabbids. You'll also meet a uh, cast of colorful <laughs> characters millennial. along the way. Brought to uh, life with <laughs> dodgeball. Voice cast. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you keep up. <laughs> Unravel your dreams when Desta: The Memories Between the memories launches between. on Nintendo Switch early next year. Ah, uh, young Fun. love, going to the movies. Oh, I think I've seen skipping school, using bits of supernatural this. mind reading powers. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yep. This slice of life pixel art game has it all. Set yeah, in yeah, 90s yeah. rural Indonesia, it follows high school sweethearts Atma and Raya through their journey of self-discovery. This, this seems like a definite However, for us. However, when a mysterious power suddenly threatens their existence, they must scour their vibrant little town in search of answers, talking and diving into the minds of the townsfolk to uncover deep secrets. Can Atma and Raya face this is the like, end of the world? Yes. <laughs> Find out when a space for the unbound launches January. on Nintendo Switch, January so 19th, 2023. That'll be a game for us. Aww. Look at this style. The watercolor. And like 3D, I like this. Door, door. Yep. <laughs> Dordogne. Bonjour. Je suis Cédric Babouche du studio Un Je ne sais quoi et directeur artistique de Dordogne. Dordogne, l'histoire de Mimi, une jeune femme sur les traces de ses souvenirs. A young woman searching for childhood memories and that she has mysteriously forgotten. Enfant, je me As a child, I remember that summer meant independence and exploration. Un moment magique où chaque Magical jour time, where every day promised a new adventure. Notre studio souhaite recréer She wishes, de wishes to kindle, rekindle the spark of nostalgia through Mimi's journey. Ce sert un mélange de We use a mix between traditional painting and animation to create sensations and a strong connection between the visuals and the emotions we want to share. Que vous jouiez seul, Whether you play alone or with your family, we hope you enjoy your time in... ...in that. Look at these <laughs> landscapes. Ooh la la. Yeah, that's so, so cool looking. Meet Mimi. As a child, she spent all of her summers here. Now she returns to her late grandmother's home to find that she's left behind a series of letters and lost family secrets for Mimi to uncover. Revisit Mimi's childhood memories and help her so, reconnect yeah, with the inquisitive girl she once was. Play both in the past and the present. Skip along the picturesque French countryside as 10-year-old Mimi while exploring her grandmother's house in the present. That's Discover so cool. the close relationship between grandmother and granddaughter as you collect photos, objects, and words. Use them to fill Mimi's journal and keep her precious memories alive. Dordogne travels on the Nintendo Switch system next spring. I can barely keep a houseplant alive. 
<laughs> don't worry, you don't need a green thumb to enjoy this one. As Arabella Green, you're a retired botanist who has a grand manor all to yourself. Take care of its magnificent gardens by solving that looks like this could be really chill and preserving a collection of forgotten flora. Unearth seeds, pot them, and find their ideal habitat. Some plants will be fussy, so you'll have to think outside the box or pot to locate the right place for them. Inspect the manor for clues, newspaper clippings, letters, and more to help your gardening skills blossom while learning more about Arabella herself. Stop and smell the flowers when Botany Manor that one, that one looks pretty cool as well. Nintendo Switch next year. Whoa, sick crocodile costume. It's a dragon. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we better start the show if we want to win the theater contest. Okay, let's go. The Royal Theatrical Spectacle is the best of all <laughs> what the is festivals this? where everyone loves acting and people Saturday. appreciate it. You guys totally have a chance to win the contest and perform at the Royal Theatrical Spectacle. The Royal Theatric Spec the Royalty Spay Part the Royalty Base. Once upon a jester. Stand down, dragon! You're no match for me. <laughs> You'll never defeat me, Prince. Oh, it's a film all. Hoi, we zijn Bot de Avond, een groep van vier muzikanten die samen games zijn gaan maken. I brought four games musicians who wanted to do something, making games or sometimes feels doing improvised voice acting with our friends, playing songs together, and just coming up with new ideas or jokes on the spot. You'll Perfect. feel that in the game where often what you hear is the first take we did. We wanted to give the players this feeling of improvisation by letting them act, sing, and dance themselves in our new game, Lots of Film A film to the brim with homemade songs, funny characters. And adventures. We'll hope. We hope you enjoy it. You know playing. what? It looks very I'm funny. I'm joining a traveling theater troupe. <laughs> Surely you jest. Nope. Musical theater rules. That's what best friends Sock and Jester are about to discover. They've devised a mischievous scheme to steal a royal diamond. Trouble is, their plan hinges on receiving an <laughs> invitation to join the famous royal theatrical spectacle. Only the best of the best get invited, so they'll have to improv their way to fame and outperform every other act they encounter on the road. Join them on their wacky, whimsical journey across a fantasy kingdom full of silly characters and even sillier spectacles. No two performances are the same, so sing your heart out, crack jokes, and make the stage your own. Once upon a jester, jingle something. Well, later Nintendo today? Later oh, wow. Today. That's fun. That looks like a really funny, funny game. Anyone can be oh, a dang. hero in this sequel to the classic roguelite game where the adventure changes with every playthrough. Rogue Whether you're Legacy. a heard of this, but... with vertigo or a vegan chef who fights meat, your goals are the same. Gather countless riches, build up your castle, and ensure your legacy. All your upgrades carry over I've to never, your I never played the first one. new successor wields their own personal traits and abilities. The Nintendo Switch version also includes the fabled Heroes update, adding a ton of new content, including dozens of new subclasses and items. So experiment with different play styles as you battle fierce foes, make friends, and avoid It looks pretty fun. I love the first one, even though I'm horrible at it. It looks pretty fun. You won't have to wait long to build your own legacy. Rogue Legacy 2 launches on later Nintendo today. Switch later today. Buddy up and experience the emotional oh. tale of an unlikely friendship in the co-op adventure Blanc. A wolf cub oh, and a yeah. fawn are stranded together after a sudden snowstorm. I now, think I follow the they must on this. learn to rely on each other as they trek through the vast snowy wilderness. This is an us following game. Following their family's tracks. Two players must work together by using each animal's abilities to navigate obstacles Unless on frosty it's terrain. Required, like, local In addition to simple <laughs> controls, this game's story and gameplay are both text-free, so anyone can easily immerse themselves in this handcrafted, <clears throat> Love the monochrome style. world. 
Start your journey when Blanc steps onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive on February 14th. Pre-orders begin later today. That looks, it looks like a very beautiful game. Can't get enough indies? Let's take a look at some more games coming to Nintendo Switch soon. Okay, this is usually, I think, where they do the, like, blast of, like, here's 50 new games. WrestleQuest. The art style looks cool. Also reminds me of Eastward a little bit-ish. Wobble Dogs. Oh, uh, somebody was talking about this a long time ago. This is the console edition of this game. We might give it a try. Storyteller. Looks like a puzzle game. World of Horror, oh no. <clears throat> I think this that game's too dark for us. <laughs> I've seen Simcopter play it and it looks uh, intense. <laughs> to say the least. I I don't know if we would I don't know if this is for us. Curse of the Sea Rats. Oh. oh, the art style looks super cool. Inscription. December 1st. I think that's out on PS5 already. I still want to play Inscription at some point. Wait, which one is for the sea, sea Dogs or whatever? What, Curse of the... the or, Curse of the Sea Rats. That's what it is. I need to write that down. Curse of the Sea Rats. It looks super, super good. Uh, World of Horror is like a Jinji Ito kind of inspired game, if you guys know who that is, or Jun Junji Ito. It's very spooky. Tang! Hello! Welcome in, friends! We're <laughs> we're watching the Nintendo Indies Direct. We're almost done with it. Uh, welcome in, friends! <laughs> it's working! Uh, <laughs> uh, Tank, how are you today? How was uh, Dying Light 2 Stay Human? How was it? More farming games. No, this was this has actually been a, like a pretty varied group of games. Lots of puzzle games and story sort of, you know, games. But welcome in, friends. Hold on. Do I need to? I think I need to hide this for a second in order to do this. I'm very small, but that's okay. Uh, Tank and friends, welcome in. How is the stream, everybody? How is Tank's stream? If you would like a fist bump, please go ahead and punch your screen on the count of three. One, two, three, wah bam. We finally finished. I chose incorrectly at the end and got the bad ending. No! Hey, was this your first playthrough of it? I have not played Dying Light, but um, is there like an easy, like, go back and get the, the other endings? Uh-oh. Hold on. Um, we're like here-ish. Um, or or do you have to like pretty much replay the whole thing to get like the better endings? Um, but uh, Tank, welcome in. Tara, welcome in. I hope you're all having a great, great day. We've been watching the Indies Direct. There's only like four minutes left um, and kind of marking down which games we would want to play. Oh, no. So... There's autosave only, so no save scum. No, seems not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's annoying. <laughs> that's no. I'm so sorry, Tank. But that's okay. You still finished it. So congratulations, though. I'll be happy to go check it on YouTube. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm trying to remember. I feel like there was a game recently that I uh, was playing that had a lot of like different endings and I, I hate when they don't just give you an easy way to like get the other ending sometimes they require you to do like actually there was a big story thing way early on that you were supposed to do and it I always hate that <laughs> it's okay the game gave me two choice chances at the end but I let foes picks and they picked wrong no I blame chat I blame chat uh, <laughs> but how are you today? How's it going? I'm going to hit play on this. We can continue watching, but I want to hear how you guys are doing. What you guys been up to? So they've, they've announced like some pretty fun games. 
It's almost done. Puzzle game. I feel like, is this like an assorting or organizing game? Like you have to try to make everything fit within the level? This has to be like a, a little to the left. That's actually uh, incredible. Hi, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm kind of. I guess we like to keep things pretty. I'm tidy kind of for this house, game. Yeah, it can be so satisfying. I feel like this would be like an oddly satisfying yeah, technique. Yeah, like I love finding the perfectly sized plastic uh, container to fit And well, today is God of War Day, so I'll be walking the, uh, walking the internet this is softly what our game to avoid spoilies. To the left is all about. I feel that. Satisfying puzzles hidden among household uh, objects. Yeah, I probably won't be playing it immediately. I really want to. I don't know if I'll stream it, but um, I. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just try to avoid spoilers, which I don't know how I'm gonna do. But <laughs> I loved the first one though, so I'm very excited to pick up the uh, the, the sequel. A little bit more. That's it. Perfect. Wow, you really like things neat and tidy, huh? You will too, after playing A Little to the Left, a cozy puzzle game where you organize household objects into satisfying arrangements. Sort spoons of different sizes and shapes, stack papers, put away the cat <laughs> This seems like oh, on paper this game would be one? very boring, but hey, I feel like pause this off. would just be a very like this chill friend has experience. mischief on their mind and will show up from time to time to make a mess of your beautifully organized <laughs> objects. Oh my gosh. But don't worry. That, there are more than 75 delightful messes to solve, many of which have multiple solutions. Oh, and yes, oh, you can pet the cat. Neat. A little to the left launches on Nintendo Switch later, later today. today. And that's it for today. Uh, it is Wednesday and oh right, you you're Wait, usually really busy. Um but Tank, thank you so much for bringing um your friends here. Friends, if you have not followed uh, Tank, there we go. Uh, there is your opportunity to go, go drop him a follow right now. Right now. Um, <laughs> uh, but let's see. Uh, good luck with your Andes and Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Tank. Thank you for bringing your people here. It's always good to see you. I hope you have a, a good evening. Just in time to miss Cat Week. <clears throat> so true, though. <laughs> Sorry so to putt in, but we have an update on Sports Story. Sports Story? Oh my gosh, RPG, I totally forgot about this. You'll rise through the ranks of the sports world and prove your prowess on the golf course, tennis court, and soccer field. There are even more sports in your quest for athletic excellence. Raise your sporting rank to unlock even more disciplines, including BMX, mini golf, volleyball, cricket, and more. Oh then my gosh. Kick back at the mall to relax, go on quests, and explore dungeons? That's right. This game isn't just what? about sports. <clears throat> Hop on a train or helicopter to visit goat infested buildings, abandoned ruins, and the mysterious Classic. wildlands. Or pursue your other passions. Make friends and enemies, go fishing, become a detective, partake in a bit of espionage. There's so much to do. You won't <laughs> oh have my to gosh. wait long. Sports story kicks off on the Nintendo December. Switch system. This game, next month. so we played, we played a uh, golf story. We didn't finish it, um, but it was super funny, and I really liked the gameplay of it. Um, but sports story has been in the works for literally like for years, and they've had to delay it multiple times. Uh, and so I know a lot of people are really excited about this. We will probably pick this up. We'll probably pick it up. I think it would be a fun game to play. And that's it for today's Indie World. We hope you <laughs> enjoyed the thank games you for the today's showcase. A big thank you to our Indie community and to partners Gosh, there are so working many good on games. games for Nintendo Switch. Gizmo. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow our official Twitter account to stay up to date on all the latest news from Indie World. I want Until them all. Until next time, happy gaming. Wait, when was... um? Did they say when the Sea Rats game was coming out? Early 2023. Okay. On February. Hold on. Early 2023.
I wrote down I wrote down my list of games that I want to play and when they come out. Uh all right, hold on. Let's uh if we get rid of this let's put you guys back on the screen. We'll turn music back on. like the background everyone does this look cozy <laughs> i hope it does uh all right let's get you guys back Boop. um all right here's the list that i came up with maybe i'll post the trailers later in the discord but venba which comes out spring next year uh aka which is the red panda game comes out next month very excited. Pepper Grinder, which is next year. Coffee Talk 2, which is a maybe for us. <laughs> Excuse me, 2023. We need to play the first one if we if we do play that one. Uh, Oni, Road to the Mightiest Oni, uh, is uh, March 9th. That one looks fun. It kind of like Breath of the Wildy. I like that. Uh, a Space for the Unbound. Which one was that? Space for the Unbound. Wait, hold on. Reviewing, reviewing the vid, uh, reviewing the footage. A Space for the Unbound. Uh, there's the Akka. Oh, Space for the Unbound. Is that the... No, no, no. That's not the dodgeball game. Oh, Space for the Unbound is the, uh, the, like... Yes. Uh, it's the... Uh, like, pixel art, kind of like, uh... I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> yes, but I, you're like the high school students. One of them has, like, telekinetic powers or something. Uh, Dor Dordonia is the, the watercolor one. That one looks cool. Botany Manor seems like a chill game. Once Upon a Jester, which is out today, looks very funny. That could be a, a pickup at some point. Uh, Blanc, uh, which is that co-op black and white game. Curse of the Sea Rats uh, looks really fun. I like the art style of that one. A Little to the Left uh, looks also fun. And then Sports Story. Those are the ones that like really stood out to me as like we will for sure play these at some point. Um, so only a few, <laughs> only three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, only 13 games that I will likely be picking up, which is why friends, I've really enjoyed the fact that, um, uh, <laughs> we've been getting dev codes <laughs> from, from people because it makes it <laughs> a little bit more manageable to play all these indie games. Um, <laughs> Gosh. Well, thank you guys for watching that with me. Um, we are going to hop into Sherlock now. Okay. All right. Um, gosh, I love indie games. <laughs> I can't wait to play so many of those. Those look so fun. I feel like they always, I mean, not always, but I feel like there is a, um, I don't know. They just tend to push the boundaries a little bit, and I enjoy that. All right, let's go ahead, pause the music, and... Move over here. Uh, where we left off, we did a bunch of um, side quests. What was the Jester game? It was called uh, Once Upon a Jester. And that is available today. Okay. 
We're in the right category. Where we left off, we um, did a whole bunch of side quests. We finished all the police cases except for one. They gave us one last case and they said the um, the chief of, not chief of police, the chief inspector is missing. Um, and they asked us to, to go do that. Uh, we also got invited to a um, uh, an art gallery by what's his name? Vogel, Victor, Victor Vogel, the guy that we saw at that graveyard that one time, or at like our our mom's cemetery. Um, so I think what we'll do, we're going to first. I think we're going to focus on the main stories, but I do want to at least do this, like, last police case. And so they gave us the keys to his office. Wait. No. To his office. There you go. Um... Let's read the case. The fate of Placido. Uh, I agreed to help Sergeant Stark establish the fate of Chief Inspector Placido. His disappearance several months ago may be linked to his last case and have a certain and a certain hive master. All case files should be inside Placido's office at the police station. He was investigating some kind of group of people called the Hive, I think. This must have been an award for long and faithful service. A box of snuff. Strong stuff. Hive Gang Police Raid. Is the Hive Master dead for Police Inspector Luciano J. Placido? The night of May 13th ended in gunshots, a blazing fire, lost comrades, and the label of hero. After an investigation lasting several years, Inspector Placido led his squad on a raid to shut down his, the operations of the infamous Hive Master and his in crime syndicate, The Hive. The largest of the gang's warehouses, also dubbed B-Yards, was raided in Miner's End. Although the operation was thoroughly planned, the police encountered serious opposition and were outnumbered. The gang set the warehouse on fire, ambushed the officers, and engaged them in a gunfight. We have received conf confirmation from several sources that Inspector Placido managed to corner the Hive Master, the gang leader subsequently perishing in a failed attempt to escape from the burning warehouse. As a result of the operation, Placido was promoted to the position of Chief Inspector. We congratulate the hero and are already preparing an exclusive interview with the governor that will include an official statement on the operation. Mr. Payne was hoping for a comical game to play, or rather watch me play, since he doesn't really game, thinking the Jester game might fit the bill. It looks really funny. It looks, and very well written. Like, uh, I don't know, it just seems like a good old time. I can almost picture you as an inspector, Sherlock. You'd lie on his sofa all day <laughs> and still solve more cases than the rest of the police. <laughs> You're not too far off. Chief Constable's message. We've been through this before, and you know well that I cannot allow it. You are an indispensable asset to this department, Placido. Sorry, but your retirement is out of the question. We need you now more than ever. The city needs you. Think about it. Not so long ago, in the mysterious Gizmo! land of Toronto, Canada. How are you, Gizmo? Hive master. Crime lords just love catching monikers. Uh. Okay, okay, I can't move. Uh. Oh. <laughs> the files are gone. That's odd. What if what if Placido is the hive master? Uh, Rogue Legacy 2, uh, it's sort of comical and a fun time, for what I understand. I played the first one. Sassy was saying that she loved the first one. 
Uh, I'm all right. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good day. There were so many good games uh, in the direct. All right. Uh, Placido's office may hold clues as to where his whereabouts. Oh, wow. So many things. Oh, wait. He has beehives on er, on his wall. He it has to be the hive master. Fingerprints. Loose frame. Oh? An ear? Uh, now, now that is odd, to say the least. Oh, he totally is. Collection of Hive articles. A collection of local and nationwide newspaper articles all mention the Hive and Hive Master and are organized chronologically. Chief Inspector Placido has been collecting information on this gang for years. May 18... Uh, or... May 1875, exclusive, new crime syndicate sweeping Cordona, buzz off, elusive weapon smugglers, the Hive supply Irish nationalists, Hive Master Mystery, all we know about the underground gang leader, police corruption controversy, an officer spills the truth, no more free speech, independent newspaper raided by police, the Hive stings again, five civilians dead, ten injured, former Cordona Chronicle reporter missing, we will not be silenced, pledges editor and police corruption, charges dropped. Notes on the Hive Master. These look like Placido's notes on the Hive Master. The last page reads, Beatrice Queen, the City Hall records, said Miners End, 1877. Same year, same district as the gunfight. Was he right under my nose all along? Let's take the ear, Sherry. Maybe he's not. Bring us luck. You'll see. Good Lord, you can't be serious. But still, there's something weird about it. Um... We do play the first legacy, Rogue Legacy. We we're horrible at it, but it's so fun. Have you heard of the game Mission in the game Mission in Snowdrift Land? Okay, it sounds familiar. Okay, wait. Wasn't there more? Or did we find the thing? I think we just found the thing immediately. <laughs> I, I guess we just we're just that good John suggested oh I take the ear from Placida's office but I'm not sure that's a good idea oh we'll take it nice always play it by ear pal of course we're taking the ear um an ear in a jar of formaldehyde that I found in Placida's office uh Notes. We can look up evidence about this uh, in City Hall. We read this. Found a box of snuff in Placido's office. He was snuffing Repé, a coarse, pungent snuff made from dark grated tobacco. Okay. Also, is there something else? Let's go look. Let's go to City Hall. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, well, I don't know <laughs> what happened. What happened there? <clears throat> but thank you, Emmers. <laughs> Take the year. We did. Got one. Nice. That's what we. That's what we like. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, guy. Uh, Mr. Panda backed the Kickstarter for it, and we just got the extras in the mail. A giant snowman, plush, two keychains, and two stickers. Oh, that's so fun. Bot bopper to the rescue. Get out of here, bots. Get out of here. Uh, let's go to the city hall. Thank you, Maud. For once, I am useful. No, you're useful all the time. Thank you, Emmers. <laughs> okay. Let's check. 
Uh, hold on. Uh, uh oh, maybe Miners End. Citizens. Ha! Ah, first try. Do you have the DLC? We do. We do. Uh, and Shady, welcome, welcome in. How are you? I saw your first message. It just didn't process that that was your first one in today. But hello, how are you? Uh, I do. I think I have all of them. I'm pretty sure. Posted a pick of the goodies in the Discord. If anyone's curious, I'll definitely take take a look at that. Uh, let's see. Queen Beatrice, business entity registered in 1877. Documents filed for closure in January 1880. Property registered in the name Warehouse in Miner's End. Uh, distillery in Miner's End. Shut down. Uh, villa auctioned off. Warehouse in Miner's End. Currently for sale. Located on Clay Street by Stevenson's Bridge to Silverton. So... Miner's End. There's not a uh, marker for it, right? Clay Street? There's Clay Street. And what was the other one? Uh, located on Clay Street by the Stevenson, Steve, by Stevenson's Bridge to Silverton. There you go. Uh... Two silver tin, so that'd be that one. So Clay Street, somewhere over here. Uh, let's see. Hello, I am well. Thanks, and you, leg sore from the gym though. Oh no! Well, you got this. You got this. Keep it up. Uh, in general gaming, nice. If you press triangle on a clue in the casebook, it will hover over the map while you search. Oh no way. That I feel like I should have learned that by now, considering I feel like we're getting like towards the end of the game in terms of like the main story. All right, am I headed? Should have all these tricks. I should have known. Right? Yeah, this place. What am I looking for? Uh. Does the building have a name? It's just a warehouse. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, this is a, looks like a warehouse to me. Is there anything that I can? No, there's nothing I can ask about. Are you able to help me? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, Oofbird? Oofbird, watch your mouth. I am a doctor, pirate, vampire, sir. May I ask for your assistance? I'll let you keep your life. That's better than an answer to your question. Believe me. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. See what he said? He said, believe me? It was code. Um, I've already uh, swiped the plush from my classroom. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have to check that out. Okay, hold on. Um... There it is. Okay. Hey, John. There are some chaps inside, and they're armed. Be careful, Sherry. Uh oh. Armed? Easy. I am a master hey, at this. This is Hive territory. Shoot him, boy. Run! <laughs> oh, oh, where? Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, come on, not. Uh, uh. Oh! 
Sherlock, aim better. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> There you go. This is expert fighting, friends. No more crime for you until next month. Oh. 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 We can overcome the brute now. Oh, come on. Ah, too simple. I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, can I do this? Uh, is that? Oh, it, like. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. I would, I would want to just, I just want to push this thing on him. Okay, there you go. Oh. He's all yours now. For it. <laughs> I thought I accidentally shot him. Ahead. Don't b give him the pepper snuff. There you go. Too simple. The snuff's ready. I just want to. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just, I just want to just expose your back, please. Okay, there we go. He's reloading. <laughs> I'm coming for you. That was. He almost turned around. Don't bother. give him. And okay, now I have knife guy. Ha ha! <laughs> Don't cry, you'll live. Oh. Good day. Oh, oh my gosh, that turned into a. Uh oh. No more crime for you. That turned until into a. <laughs> I'm right behind you. What is the. See, look, I learned. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Don't bother moving. The snuff's ready. Time to knock this guy out. <laughs> Take Teleports a behind. I give him the pepper snuff. Ooh. He's Batman. <laughs> he does look like Batman. If they could, if they had a like a WB partnership and you had like a Batman costume in this, incredible! The world's greatest detectives. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, wait. So now I'm sure we're supposed to look for something. <laughs> I wasn't here just to kill everybody, right? Um. Maybe I was. Is, is there nothing? John, do you, you're not chiming in with anything? Oh, there you go. There you are. Someone's been burning papers, I see. Hmm. something else in here oh uh, I found burnt papers perhaps they can be restored uh, let's do some chemical analyses two red one green minus four blue Well, let's see. Two red. 
one green. I think we can do this. Hold on. We do boop. Boop. Uh. Boop. All right. So now we just gotta. <laughs> now we just gotta combine everything. Boop. 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 Wait. Uh, 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 unlink. Wait. Oh, no. What have I done? There's that. There's that. Okay. Link these two. And link this. And now link that. And confirm success. Oh, so how does this work? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I just saw this. Basically... <laughs> what I'm going to leave here on the screen is so we have at the bottom okay at the, on the very far right actually uh that that number over there where it has the two the red symbol with the two the green symbol with the one and the blue symbol with the negative four that's our goal and so we have to use the things at the bottom with the things up top to get to that number though that sequence and I just did a very simple way to do it. Uh, but they have plenty of different ones. Like, there are some that have negative two this and uh, positive three that. What you can do, though, is like, so the symbols at the top, the uh, here, this is what we're going to do. Boop. This symbol just combines two of them. So, like, if you have the red three and this two, it just combines them into one. So it'll be positive three red, positive two green. This one will swap if it's a positive or a negative. So uh, if you use it with this negative five, it just turns into a positive five. Um, this one will add one to whatever it is that you've attached it to. And this one will subtract one from... This one will subtract one from whatever it is that you have like attached it to. So then what you do, and it, uh, you can vaguely see it from here, but like here's the green one and the negative, or and the green one, red and green one. Uh, I just, since I needed a two, I put the three here, made it with this one, which minuses it. Uh, I made it a two. The green one was a two. Um, so I use another one of these to make it one. And so then over here we had a red two and a green one. This one we I needed a um, uh, a minus four, so I just chose I did it easy. I just chose the four and swapped whether it was a positive or negative, and then combined the two, and then we had two one four. But I'm sure like there are other ways you can go about doing it, and maybe even fewer steps or something. But like. Uh, anyway, it's kind of interesting. It's a neat little it's a neat little puzzle. Uh, I kind of like it a little bit more than the the puzzles in the previous Sherlock games where it was chemical stuff where you had to, like, mix the different um, chemicals and then, like, brush things off and use, like, a little air thing. I, I like those puzzles, but I always felt like I didn't know what order I was supposed to be doing things in. So it was sort of like a... Okay, I'm going to click on this next, and I'm going to see if it lets me do something. And then I'm going to click on this other thing. No, I can't use this. All right, I guess I'll do this thing next. So, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like like this in a, in a way. It, but, I don't know. It'd be kind of neat if maybe there was an animation of you doing stuff. That'd be kind of neat, but I don't know. You are adept to them. I've seen many others struggle with basic math. <laughs> That's fair. I Math is not my strong suit. Chat can tell you that. But uh, I think piecing them together is pretty fun. And and trying to find the least complicated. <laughs> I think that's where I excel, is I'm like, I'm going to try to find the least complicated route to get to the solution. Um, <laughs> but so far, they haven't been too complicated, in my opinion, but I don't know. Let's see. I managed to restore some fragments. Beeswax to Valen... 50 crates of yarn to Dublin, of honeycombs to Thessalo. Hmm. Um, 
This is what we have pinned, right? Okay, yeah. That's why it's pinned. Or that's why it's red. All right. So we got some burnt papers. John, what do you think? Smells of burnt paper. Just another day in a smuggler's office. Uh-oh. What a convenient way to pull the wool over the eyes of the customs house. La 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 la. Sassy, is this what you're doing when you're actually when you say you're you're using yarn? Is this what's happening? Is this your operation? Hmm. Everything knits together. Hmm. Sherlock. <laughs> uh, soiled note. I can't spare any boys, Cal. Too busy wrapping up, same as you. The boss has gone soft. Shutting down when we have the island in our pockets makes no sense to me. And what's with the letters? He never contacted us directly before. I'd be a fool to cross him, but I sure as hell am not leaving. There's still easy pickings to be had here. Hive or no hive? Letter from H.M. Burn the documents. Prepare the goods. I will deal with the apiary. This shipment will be the last. If you are on the ship, you'll be taken care of. If not, you are on your own. H.M. Hmm. Um. I just didn't know what all the top pieces did, so I couldn't figure out why you were connecting so many of them before the end. Yeah, I was just like, I'm sure there's like some ways you can combine some of them and just swap like positive or negative or um, whatever, but I'm just like, we're gonna just choose the easy ones, add one, minus one, combine those, done. Uh, <laughs> I expect my version of Sherlock is just like, instead of doing like the super sciencey things, he's just kind of like a little bit of this, <laughs> a little bit of that, <laughs> not measuring anything and it's just like, and that's and that's done. I mean, the, that looks like yarn I own, but I will guarantee that there is nothing but stuffing inside Boomer and the Blue Badger. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Sticking to the simple is definitely the best strategy. Making it two, make it two into one, et cetera, is much easier than messing around with the double color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been like. All right, what can we... Let's use all the single color ones if we can. Figure out what's the easiest way to get there. All evidence collected. But what's behind this door, John? Okay. That's a soiled note, and now we have this. Um, looks like we're going to need to... Maybe we can look like a, a criminal. By the way, they love their hive like imagery. Don't work hard, work smart. Exactly. Okay, hold on. Let's look like an old criminal. Street brawler? Or... Is this more criminal? Is it the same? Actually, this is more criminal. Uh... Yeah, let's look even more. Well, we can stay, we can stay as a vampire. Are these people who were over here like I'm gonna beat you up? I mean, maybe they're dead. But, oh wait, hold on. So this guy looks like a sailor, kind of. But. Can I ask you a question? I'll tell you what I know. Oh, mate. people told me that I can find the apiary to the west of Wigan Street in Northern Miners End. They also warned me to stay away. Uh. Wiggins? Ah. Some. That's not a shortcut, but at least I know what the icon is. Uh, where am I? Let's go up. Nope. <laughs> yes. Whoops. And the AC&H uh, bag only contained mini dice. True, 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 true. 
as far as we know. Oh. Okay. Good heaven. Necessary. You heard of Probably running on a train track is um, not a good idea. Um. It looks as though someone or something has escaped. A statue of a buckle cage inside a city full of criminals. Let's take a closer look, Sherry. Oh. A new case? For the birds? Uh, strange monument of an empty cage near the mines caught my attention. John suggested we take a closer look. But we're in the middle of this one, John. It's a whole lot. Uh, here we go. Oh, wait, that combo you heard was a case? Overheard? Which one? Did I ever hear one? Ah, the, the music, it's so good. Um, I may have been not paying attention to where we were. I think I was like, oh, is it these guys? They're kind of chatting. Good heavens. Ah. You heard what happened to the priest? Bloodied saw. Curfew. Severed hand. Children grounded. Monster attack. Cold case? <laughs> I wanted a monster attack. People are talking about a priest who was found dead with his hand severed. The only item of note that the police were able to find was a saw lying next to the body. Despite an ongoing investigation, people are worried that the culprit will escape unpunished. Ah, saints and sinners. Okay. All right, we'll come back to that. <clears throat> Let's finish this one. Uh, I got it. I'm trying to... Because when we started the elephant case, I got distracted with another case, like, in the middle of it. I've decided to try to focus on one at a time so that we don't miss too much. Or get too confused. Uh, that's all right. Let's figure this whole thing out. But Val, how's your day? How's it going? Hello, everyone. May I ask you something? Nah, never come across anything like this. Um, where am I? <laughs> Can you satisfy my curiosity? I have heard many strange things. Oh wait, an apiary. That's like a bird this thing. This isn't working. So maybe. We might need a uh... tack. Oh. Maybe. Oh wait, isn't an apiary a bird thing? Or is it a tree thing? Or is it a bee thing? It's a bee thing. That's what an apiary is. Uh huh. Which makes sense, because of the whole B. They really love their, um, their, like, analogy. Also, this looks almost exactly like the one that was painted on his wall, except for they're all, like, brown. Well, I thought I, ne I needed to look like a, um, a, a criminal to talk to some of them. So, I mean, we can go back now. We can, we can be a... Hello. I assume look, we're just gonna. No, we can't walk in. Doing well. I'm pretty sure I was flirted with today in the form of extra donuts. I want donuts. <laughs> uh, I want donuts. Clear this. All right. Maybe I talk to this guy. Sir, I'm looking for a man who goes by the huh. name of Hive Master. Uh -huh. Cool hat. 
A tilted hat hiding the missing ear. Grated tobacco snuff taker. Red bumps, bee stings. Is this Placido? Six shot revolver. Uh, is none other than Chief Inspector Placido using the Hive Master's fearsome reputation to keep people away. Hold on. The sulky, grouchy man in his 50s is clearly unhappy with my intrusion. He has some grated tobacco in his clothes and bee stings on his hands. Apparently, he's been tending to the bees at the apiary for a while now. He's hiding a, miss a missing ear and carrying Placido's revolver. The beekeeper is none other than Chief Inspector Placido using the Hive Master's fearsome reputation to keep you away, or... Placido must be dead. I think it's Placido. Chief Inspector Placido. And what makes you think that? Why, you're missing ear, amongst other things. You need a larger hat. <laughs> I've been investigating your last case on behalf of Sergeant Stark, and now I think I understand what happened to the Hive Master. Humor me. You lived a double life, you invented him, or you killed him. Uh-oh. Um, we're going to say you live a double life. All this time you've been living a double life. A police inspector by day, a crime kingpin by night. <laughs> That's a good one. A bored old dog's been chasing his own tail. No, I killed this one. As simple as that. But why? Everyone deserves a trial. Wasn't my choice. He and his thugs attacked me when I went to arrest them. It was a kill or be killed kind of situation. Turned out for the best, though. With his cronies dead, not a soul knows what the Hive Master looks like. Hmm. His own gang, scared stiff of him. So you assumed his place to dismantle this criminal enterprise from within? Damn right I did. Oh, interesting. And after I'm done, I'm not planning to go back. I've had enough of this rotten nest of corruption. But it just won't leave me alone, will it? First, they dismiss my retirement requests, and now they send a sleuth after me. It's not like that. I tell you what it's like, son. This is not the first case you've worked on for Stark, huh? That amateur promoted to a sergeant for his merits. I don't think so. You're not an officer. But from what I can see, you are much brighter than the lot of them. So what's your stake in this? You some sort of consulting detective? Hmm. Yes. I suppose you could call me that. My name is Sherlock Holmes, at your service. Then do me a service, Mr. Holmes. Drop this case and don't tell anyone you saw me here. Let me enjoy my retirement in peace. Uh, I have to ask, why bees? I have to ask. Why are you so fascinated with beekeeping? I just want a quiet life, away from the hustle and bustle. Watching the little workers like I once watched the criminal world of Cordona. <laughs> yes, it suits me just fine. Also, I have your ear. I, um... I have your ear. What the hell? Give it to me now. <laughs> All right, but let's make it a fair exchange, shall we? I want your revolver. I want a few beehives. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. What is Sherlock going to do with bees, you know? <laughs> um. Let's see. It's canon now. It was rather nice, but I am also oblivious until I drove away. Very nice, though, and I'm having a good day anyway. I do love donuts. So the cop I thought was gone has returned, Sassy. No. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> An ear for a beehive makes a whole world blind. <laughs> D, yeah, I think that's what he said. Uh, he did say that. Uh, <laughs> I want your revolver. Wait. Well, if he if he gives me his revolver, like he might he might need it, right? Like But I'm sure he has more guns. I'm going to take the revolver. 
I'll trade it for your revolver. You have little use for it now. <laughs> Deal. Now go. I'll consider your request, sir. By the way, I must talk to Sergeant Stark. Tell him I died a hero. Or a coward. I don't care. <laughs> as long as they leave me alone. You gun. Nice. Can I have your old one? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I'm going to be dual wielding now. Okay. Um, so there's nothing here. I've discovered the fate of Chief Inspector. Whistles the metal a melody. I wonder what happens if you take the beehive. Reason studies show it's equal to or more effective than actual cough syrup. That's interesting. I've usually if my throat's bothering me, I'll have some. I'll have some honey or some tea with honey or something. If only we well, don't like honey. It's it's like so sweet and sugary and good. <laughs> I love honey so much. Uh, oh, if you take beehives, you get hot beehives in front of the. Psh, now I want a gun. <laughs> Get out of here! I want, can I use the the inspector's Sergeant gun? Sergeant back at his desk, across from the chief inspector's office. Oh, oh, that's not you. Sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, is this you? Any news, Mr. Holmes? Uh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> you read that with such incredulousness. I I just. I mean, it's honey. It's so sweet and tasty and nom nom. I just don't understand how anyone doesn't like honey, but that's fair. You cannot like honey. I just Chief find it surprising. Chief Inspector Procedo can be presumed dead. I was unable to find his body, but the evidence is unequivocal. He's gone. I suppose I expected as much, but still, it doesn't make it any easier. Placido was a good man. You would have liked him if you'd met him. Yes, it's a uh, it's a pity. I'm chuckles sure at audience. Would. In any case. No matter how bad, the truth is better than uncertainty. Please, take this as a token of gratitude. You've done us all a great service. Thanks again for your help. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Ooh, we got wardrobe items. And yeah, he wa he wanted to retire. You know, I think we we give him that break. Is there like? What did we get? Oh, consult. Is this new consulting detective, or is it the police uniform? I wish it gave us like a little. I wish it had a little like mark to know that we. Oh wait, <gasps> no. Yes. <laughs> wait. Yes. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Why don't I have a red one? Or is this... Wait, have we had this? The black deluxe suit? Gilmore, welcome in! Uh, my taste buds are broken. I don't know if it frustrates me or everyone else more. It just... It was just shocking. I think the police captain hat too, maybe? Uh, oh, maybe... There's a police cap and then this one. I feel like we have not seen this one, so that's probably... I mean, we have this suit. Have we had this? I guess we have had that one. I don't know why I just never noticed it. We need a blue version of, of this. Also, we need a camera mode, please. Why Why is there no camera mode? I need to... I want to stand next to John. <laughs> this is somewhere. So we can look ridiculous. Gilmore, how are you today? Where's John? John? I should be able to spot him like a beacon with his red suit. John, I need you to appear somewhere.
I've never, like, desired emotes in a game, but I wish there was a, like, Slav Squat <laughs> emote, so that way we could look super cool. Hold on. Is that blood? Oh, that is this from when we were looking at the donkey, or trying to find the donkey? I think it was. Me looking around. Where is John? Let's go home for a sec. It's important to me that we find John. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> I forgot we were also trying to help him. Hey, <laughs> look at us. We are totally cool. <laughs> I, I want the camera to zoom out a bit, but there's no way. <laughs> we look so cool. <laughs> the street magic case. What what was that one called? Do you remember? Uh the thing I've been trying to I've been trying to expand my food choices for like 20 years. It's a slow process. That's totally fair. It takes time. I work today currently reading a a late eating a late lunch of salad. I hope work has been doing okay. Uh, I'm hoping one day I'll be a grown-up and enjoy all these foods. It's called street magic. I'll double check. Uh, feeling much better than le this weekend. Not as sick. Good to hear. Good to hear. Street magic. It does not look like it. Mm -mm, it doesn't look like it. Um, let's do... Let's do this again. Or, and by again, I mean, let's actually, like, look into this. People are talking about a priest who was found dead with his hand severed. The only item of note that the police were able to find was a saw lying next to the body. Despite an ongoing investigation, people are worried that the culprit will escape unpunished. Oh, <laughs> look how cool we look. You look dope. Hold on. If I do... <laughs> there, look. It's like we're in a band. We look so cool. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to crop that later and <laughs> and post that. Yes. Okay. Uh all right. Can't upload. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's look at the let's go to the news news papel. Uh, you can find it on Harbor Street. It it does right. It needs like a full on. Fo when is the album dropping? I know. <laughs> I need it. I want like a Ghost of Tsushima style photo mode where you can like change the depth of field and like all sorts of stuff. Repositioning of the camera. All right, recent uh, obituaries. And is this in Miner's End? Hmm. Or do I need to go to the... Wait. Which does this mean? Okay, it doesn't specify which which archive. Uh, man, you're asking a lot for these devs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do want a photo mode in every game. I was actually just... So I was playing Animal Crossing last night, moving to the or a house and a, a destroying a bridge since we're going to flatten the island and stuff. Uh, and then I went to 
the uh, work island to create another background for us. And I was like setting it up to make sure it looked all right. I haven't re like recorded the thing yet, but um, I was like, man, I wish this had a photo mode because um, uh, you can get really cool depth of field shots in Animal Crossing, if you use the black and white filter, it will like blur the background pretty well, but it does not do that with the normal like camera. And I was like, I wish I could have that effect on the rest of it, oh, like on a normal video shot, I guess. But um, so part of me was like, maybe we should just take some of these into like After Effects and then just start like giving some depth of field anyway. If no red book symbol when you're in the archive screen, you're not in the right. Ah, so, so not here is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. Let's go to, I guess the police archives. It is a crime that happened recently. So maybe, <laughs> don't ex or excuse me. This is just criminal Sherlock running, running through the building. Um, I actually don't really know, Opons, how difficult is it to, to like add a photo mode to a game? You don't just turn on the photo mode button, is that? Ah, I see, Shady, I see. I see the, the button now. Um, violent crimes. Uh, they found a thing. Maybe instead of instruments. Uh, wait, victims? Okay, mm. maybe not any of that. <laughs> uh. Really? May am I in the right spot? Maybe it's not Miner's End. Silverton? It's a violent crime. People are talking about a priest who was found dead with his hand severed. Only item of note was a, the saw. Despite an ongoing investigation, people are worried that the culprit will escape unpunished. What if I do... Oh, wait, I'm in Silverton. Wait, Miner's End? It's very difficult. For example, God of War 2018 did not ship with photo mode. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Learning new things, uh, even in the end game, it's true. Uh, that was a big team. On Jedi, we decided we needed photo mode on day one. That was made early on. And Kina, the very first thing I, I pushed was for photo mode because rots are so cute. The photo mode, I was actually just thinking um, uh, when I was saying, like, it needs a Ghost of Tsushima photo mode, I was also thinking, like, Kina had a great one as well. So either of those are excellent. Um, okay, I think it's violent crimes. But maybe we don't choose a district. Maybe we choose... Haha, -ha, first try. The victim found in Minor Zen has been identified as Alexandro uh, Fanconi. Cause of death, blood loss from a severed hand. The location of the crime implies that the righteous gang was involved, but the current evidence is insufficient to support a search warrant. The rots are adorable, they really are. Okay. <laughs> New entry in John's diary. Man, he's bad at this. Oh gosh. So, so, so sorry, John. So sorry. 
Uh, okay, so we need to pin this and we need to talk to people. Before, Sevi, it's 70th try. Uh, okay, before we continue, I just need to go to the bathroom real fast. Um, so, let me play for you all some music. And we will be our B. If you need to stand up, stretch, etc., now is the time to do so. Uh, get some water or whatever, and we will be right back. Just need to stretch and go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. And we will continue solving crimes, everybody. BRB.
Okay, we back, everybody. Let's go back to solving some crime. Boop. Welcome back. All right, I think we're everything is paused. All right, so we need to pin this evidence and we need to talk to people. Hmm. I think we're probably fine looking like a criminal. Uh, I have returned with food. Nice. What kind of food do you have? What did you get? Oh, and I didn't see. Small teams can't afford to spend time making a photo of time money. That's fair. Well, they just need that. They just need that um, photo mode button. Have they thought about that? You just have to flip that switch. Ooh, fried chicken and biscuits. That sounds very delicious. Um, can I ask you a question? I'll tell you what I know, mate. Uh, there is a yard behind the last two houses at the southern end of Carpenter Street and Miner's End, where the poor and the needy can always find food and shelter. The righteous look after the destitute, even when no one else will. Hmm. <laughs> the make game button. Yeah, I'm downloading Blender. I think I saw that somewhere. It's you just like you just push the button and it's like game. <laughs> it's funny because Mr. Payne has smothered the biscuits and honey. Uh, I know some like pizza places will put honey on. Oh, I thought that was John. We'll put honey on like pizza. And Spirit of Shadows, hello. Just gonna take some time to chill here in extreme. It's so chaotic, is it? Hilarious. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> I feel like his stream is always very exciting. Um, but welcome in. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think I need, I need to look destitute. There's a yard behind the last two houses at the southern end of Carpenter Street. Southern end of Carpenter Street. Does it continue past here? Okay, that's... I'll put that there. Um... Okay, where is... Where is our most destitute looking? Uh... Do we need... I think we might need to buy some hobo clothes. Wait. No, we're actually fine. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, even more so. Look at us. Okay. Now. <laughs> GBC just got to get. What, what is he up to? <laughs> what is he up to? That's funny. Again, not surprised. Uh, there is a yard behind the last two houses. Um, not bad. Can you satisfy my curiosity? What make you think I can be of any help? I mean... The last two houses... Oh, like maybe... Oh, here? No. <laughs> hmm... Would you consider this a yard? May I ask for your assistance? You're asking the wrong fella. Wait. Oh, this is where I just was. Never mind. He just disappeared here. Hello, Mr. Goat. Uh, oh, I was able to start watching the VOD of Day Nights last night. Improv Central. Nice. <laughs> Sounds about right. What's this? 
We're praying clothes, body and face, fast and cheap. Um at the Southern and Carpenter Street. There's not Uh well I'm in the wrong spot right now. But we were in the right spot. You're on the southern end of Carpenter Street, in Miner's End. It says there is a yard. Maybe it's these. This. Maybe it's on this side. Extra! Extra! Corset or corset? The... Um, haven't gotten far, very far in, but what I saw was very funny, especially when GBC had to mute Dark yet. That was, that was very smart, I thought. Ah, maybe up yet? Oh, hello. Fellow people. Welcome, brother. You can always find food and shelter here. Thank you. I think oh. this man is suffocating. We must help him. Uh-oh. His dry hacking cough is getting worse by the second. His fingernails are blue. He has trouble catching his breath. Looks like he's having an asthma attack. Quickly, do something! I think this man is suffocating. We must help him. Different sizes, different colors. Some clothes are new. Law, the law of the righteous. Obey the boss, his word is law. Help the helpless, protect the vulnerable. Do not steal from the poor. Do not kill without reason. Disobedience will be punished in the arena of justice. Is this familiar to you? I've nothing to tell you. Wow, that's a lot of food for the poor. Wow, that's a lot of food for the poor. That it the is. gang might feed them, yes, but out of whose pockets does this all come? Um, I can't interact with him, so I must need to find something. Epinephrine, I know, right? Um, uh, Opance is in uh, game dev. Which is super fun. Look, here's some medicine. Could be useful. Acetyl salicylic acid. Useless. A strong painkiller, but it won't help with asthma. Ether? Aha! Ether. That can stop the asthma attack. I mostly, I actually honestly don't really know what ether is. I mostly know it from like, like Final Fantasy games, <laughs> which I assume is not. They even keep medical records. Impressive for a gang. Huh. Such insanitary conditions. Horrific. These instruments are of inferior quality, but in capable hands, they can save lives. Um. Uh, oh, I gathered that. I was wondering what role. Sorry. Uh, a game designer for respawn. Oh, Ponce is so cool. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh. And uh. Yeah, he's awesome. Okay, let's. God bless you, young man. 
Phew, that was close. But you saved him, Sherlock. Okay. So we don't get anything. <laughs> I. God bless you, young man. <laughs> not that I was expecting something in return for saving someone's life, but maybe? <laughs> Hello, everybody. The Done. boss has a lot of work on his plate. What actions will the righteous take because of the priest's murder? Food shortage? No. Many homeless. Gangs move. Punish murderers. Pursuing cops. Oh, I took them off. Um, could you guys continue talking? The boss has a lot of... Many, okay, replace, yep. Haha, -ha, first try. The boss of the righteous is going to punish the transgressors for violating the law. The gang is low on members and he is already looking for new people to replace them. Someone we can talk to about this. Hello. That's far enough, little one. The boss is busy. But I need to speak to him. It's urgent. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Look, there's going to be a fight in the arena today. So unless this building's on fire, it will have to wait. Uh, an arena fight? What do you mean, a fight in the arena? You're new around here, aren't you? The cretins who killed the priest will face trial by combat in the arena of justice. That's what you get for breaking the law. The boss didn't create it for nothing. Let me in, please. It's vitally important. Let me in, please. <sighs> you think the magic word will do the trick? No. I'd like to join the gang. I hear the gang is looking for new members. I'd like to join you. Oh, there's not enough meat on you. We've no use for a scrawny weakling. I'm not scrawny, I'm just thin-boned. <laughs> Besides, I know my way around a gun better than anyone in your gang, I'd wager. You've got some nerve. See those bottles over there? Go on, shoot them. Show me how good you are. Ho-ho! <laughs> oh. <laughs> also, is this? Am I using this? Looks like a different gun than what I was using before. You might make yourself useful after all. Go Maybe it's on not. In, then. <laughs> That's I told you. Hey, didn't I ask not to be disturbed? What's with the shooting out there? Sorry about the bother. Your guard took a little convincing to let me in. Not to worry, though. Everything's fine, except for a few broken bottles. Then what do you want with the righteous? I spit it out. I haven't got all day. I'm here to talk to you about the murder of Father Alexandra. Oh, that nasty business. Those responsible will soon be brought to justice. Killing the priest doesn't strike me as very righteous. Why did they do it? Every tree has a few rotten apples, doesn't it? They caught him stealing from our ladders. But there was no need for bloodshed. I gave no such orders. Alexandro might not have been one of us, but we were fighting a common enemy. This enemy being who, exactly? <laughs> not who. What? Poverty, inequality, and justice. We follow our law just as Alexandro followed his God's commandments. What do you mean by justice? I doubt that you're planning to turn them into the police. Of course I'm not. They will receive their punishment in the arena of justice. So you're going to kill them just like that? Watch your mouth, boy. I'm not a murderer. They bought it upon themselves. The law applies to all. The murderers must be arrested, not lynched. Let me take them to prison. <laughs> Do you have some guts to barge in here and make demands? 
I don't know you, boy. And I don't care why you want to save their hides. But that is not happening. Listen, I want them to pay for what they've done, but making them fight for their lives is savagery. <laughs> savagery? So you think rotting in a cave, suffering daily beatings from the pigs, only to be eventually hanged and dumped in a gutter is better? You say you want justice? Fine, go down and fight. Let the arena decide. Whatever you do to them, or they do to you, will be just. That's my only offer. Take it, or get the hell out. I'll take it. All right, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty to see criminals behind bars. If you make it out alive, I won't stop you. Don't assume they'll go down easily, though. They'll take their chances and give you no quarter. Uh, Google knows all. It has been known for a long time that inhalation of ether is effective in asthma, and it used to be considered a good anesthetic uh, agent for such patients due to its bronchodilator <laughs> and respiratory stimulant effects. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. No more crime for you until next month. Maybe it is the same gun. <laughs> it just looked different. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Oh, come on. What? There we go. No more crime for you. The snuff's ready. No more crime for you. Ow. <laughs> oh, no, Sherlock. Run, Sherlock! Run! How did they hit me? I can overcome the brute now. Don't bother move. Give him the pepper snuff. Uh, 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 wait. A. Hey. May I? <laughs> Too simple. The snuff's oh, ready. Oh, come on. How did he shift? So fast. I'm coming. <laughs> no. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh, oh my gosh. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Too simple. Take a rest, my friend. Is there something else? Oh, hello. Time to knock this guy out. Oh. oh, nice. I'm not 100% sure how that affected him, but. Too simple. The snuff's ready. Well, this is game gave more instructions. At least this game gave more instructions Today, for the fight scene, gun scenes, remember? Yeah. Boy. I give you my word and I'll keep it. My men will deliver the murderers to the police. You think you've saved their lives, eh? But for how long? The prison is unforgiving. And unlike here, their hands will be tied. I fail to see your logic, sir. What I do know is that I'm no judge or executioner, and neither are you. Goodbye. Culprits arrested. Um... Uh, now they will be delivered to the police. <clears throat> Where is... Uh... It's like a, um...
Doesn't that usually mean like there's like uh we have to piece together part of the mystery or something? Oh no, it's just completed. Oh, okay. Two wardrobe items acquired. Casual detective? I don't think I recall that. Or, no, I think we have that, right? What else? Did, does anything else look new? Oh, he got a, a clergy, John. But still, <laughs> but still, this is, that's hard. I mean, come on. These are hard to beat. Um... Okay, there's Mycroft's request. Let's let's uh move forward in this. You'll find the gallery at the blank at the crossroads of Bazaar Road and Hermes Avenue in Old City. Hermes and what was it? Uh, bizarre. Oh, um, somewhere around. Uh, we'll put that there. Anything that looks like an art gallery. There's some books. Oh, this is where the uh A fresh newspaper. Uh oh. I wish you a pleasant reading. Thank you. Um art gallery. Oh, we need to continue just a little bit. All right, should it be somewhere here-ish. This is the mosque, right? Or what is this? No, this is it. Hello? Victor Vogel? Oh boy. Mr. Holmes, you came. Oh, how kind. Though now, of course, I realize it is because of my game, not the works on display. It needn't be one or the other. Your man's disguise was easily debunked, Mr. Vogel, but I shall admit that you planted in me the seed of curiosity. Ah, terrific! I had no doubt you'd put the pieces together. Let us call it an opening gambit before the real game begins. So, this little game of yours, <laughs> what's it about? An enigma to solve. A locked area in the basement with no windows found brutally vandalized. I have no clue how it was possible. <laughs> I love this shot. Would look so much cooler if I didn't have the bandage on, but it works perfect with this. Um, what about this intrusion? What happened? Last night, I was about to leave the gallery when I heard a noise downstairs. I went to the basement, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It was admittedly a rudimentary inspection. It is not uncommon to get rats down there, so seeing nothing of note, I left and locked up the building. When I returned this morning, alas, I discovered that part of the exhibition had been torched, and there was no sign of the intruder. The mystery being, of course, that all the doors to the gallery were locked exactly as I left them. And the door to the basement is the only entrance? Correct. Tell me you're not intrigued. And this locked area downstairs, what exactly was it? The under gallery. It's always shut, and I'm the only one with the key. Ah, so this is your private collection, not part of the gallery. Oh, no. It's an exclusive exhibition of eccentric pieces. Only a select cadre of artists, investors, and collectors are admitted. 
Not everyone deserves to have their eyes opened. Well, this matter is certainly within my wheelhouse. This intrusion troubles me. Please take a look around if you're willing. The under gallery is through the door at the end. I will see what I see. Hmm. Okay, so we have all the names of things here. You sure you don't like art, Sherry? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, huh. Back home, we've got a taxidermist. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I bring him. <laughs> oh my gosh. John. <laughs> Incredible. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they must have had some fun ideas putting a simplistic attempt at provocation. They must have like putting John in different Back places. Back home, we've got a taxidermist. Incredible. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I bring him. Closed with a metal bolt. Hmm. Scratches, magnet filing. Footprints, size nine and a half. Oh. The left step's length is shorter than the right. It indicates that the walker was lame. Old and hasn't been used for a long time. I feel like you need to look at another set of <laughs> of prints. A true artist never shows an unfinished piece. Sherry, how about some company in that dreary chamber of yours? Leave my loneliness. A handprint of the thing from another world. Plus it looks fresh and its coal origin ruins the effect of the extra mundane. This painting looks very familiar. What is this? Sodden and mold ridden. One presumes deliberately. Coal footprints. The parasites of creativity. Or just a reflection of the artist's recreational interests. I recognize this one. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, grim composition. I'm flinching in its ferocity, yet somehow beautiful. Ugh. Oh. Sheer vandalism. Only an ignorant person could do such a thing. A malpal butt. A malpal butt. Cold fingerprints. I think we're looking for a man with a cold mustache. <laughs> Is there anything over here?
think that's right. Hold on, let's just double check. There's only those two. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. So the person came down the chute. That's the first sound that he heard. He then went and hid in this exhibit. That's him looking for... What that noise was. That's why the cold handprint is there. Um... I guess he took this painting and then threw it into the fire. Aha! The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the hatch bolt. He accidentally pushed a shovel to the floor. Vogel heard the noise. At the sound of his approaching footsteps, the intruder hid inside the coffin. When Vogel entered the basement, he failed to notice anything strange and left without properly checking. The intruder waited until Vogel had left the caravanserai before burning the paintings in Wilde's room. But the vandalism was a cover for the theft. Hmm. Uh, first try. Alright, so... Gallery intruder is a smoker who limps. So I think now we can report back. Where, where are you? The pieces are not what I expected. What do you think my collection is about? Hmm. Decay, decadence, or death? I wonder what, if we say decadence, I wonder... Dozens of priceless works amassed simply for the sake of it and presented without care. It's not about the art, it's about excess, yes? I don't know. Well, that's absurd. Of course you know, <laughs> it's your gallery. There is no one answer, no singular truth, but many filtered through the subjective mind. That forgetting, embellishing, lying machine. Besides, what's wrong with a lie if it makes life more interesting? What's wrong with a lie? It corrupts the ability of others to behave freely and rationally. Men never act freely and rationally anyway. It matters not what is or isn't in the end. The only important thing is how you feel. And I simply want to feel and consume as much as I can. Don't you? Feelings are simply one's animal ancestry trying to wrest back control of the brain. I try to avoid the distraction. You try not to feel, even in a place like this? None of it moves you. To be frank, I struggle to maintain even a wit of interest in art. But Mr. Holmes, it is joy incarnate, mankind's greatest achievement. Mankind's highest achievement above all others is objective and rational thought. I see then why you dislike art, for it means whatever you want it to. Or perhaps, Mr. Vogel, <laughs> I was lying. Aha. Uh -huh. The case was interesting. Mr. Vogel, my investigation has revealed that the intrusion was not merely vandalism, but theft. The limping visitor left your place with a canvas. That's very impressive. This thief was familiar with the gallery and he was sporting a limp. Do any of your clients or artists come to mind? My, your attention to detail is remarkable, Mr. Holmes. I should introduce you to Bosch's works. Alas, I'm afraid I cannot suggest a culprit. The fire was a clever attempt to hide a stolen painting, even if it didn't fool me. I found the remnants of an empty frame in the pile of ashes. The canvas had been removed. Do you know which paintings in the wild room may have interested a thief? Were any particularly expensive? Those pieces belonged to a well-known artist named Boniface Mercurio. They're controversial, but not of a notably high value. The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the latch and dislodged the shovel while doing so. That's the noise you heard yesterday. When you went downstairs to investigate, he hid in the coffin. Hmm. It seems I should have checked the space more thoroughly. There's something more, is there not? I can see it in your eyes. Hmm. Indeed. There is another intriguing angle. I recently received an anonymous offer for one of Mercurio's works. The sum was more than fair. 
and indeed could have saved Mercurio from his artistic poverty. But he declined it. Was it a performative whim? Some artists lionize pain and hardship as if their work would be worse after a meal and a hot bath. I cannot tell. But not only did he refuse the deal, he insisted on displaying the painting in the public space. I was hoping to change his mind, but artists are a special breed of stubborn. So where can I find Boniface Mercurio? I know he lives somewhere in Old City, but couldn't be more specific. He's a prominent figure, so finding him shouldn't be a problem. What was depicted in the piece? Hmm, a bound woman wrapped in robes, being penetrated by a red devil that stared at us, the viewer. The beast had numerous tails growing from his back, and a large crowd gathered around the pair, silently watching the orgiastic scene. Okay, well, given the nature of the other works on display, it's hard to see why that one stood out. What could possibly be its value? The evaluation of art is very subjective, Mr. Holmes. After all, art is everything. A poem, a bruise, the beads of sweat on your beloved skin. Even a masterfully solved crime. I'm not sure I see the connection. Regardless, the painting was one of a series called The Sabbath Night in Cordona. The works depict sex, violence, and other controversial acts that life, for better or worse, contains. Ah, I see. I'm not sure that you do. But that can wait for another time. Well, I believe I have enough to begin. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. Your gallery certainly has unexpected depths. I'm delighted to have been able to please a friend. In return, I expect you to come back with good news. Or at least with a good story. Interesting. Uh, Alright, so... We need to do... Some research. This is not the exit. So we need to find Mercurio. Um. I'll be off. And Shady, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you have a good one. Let's go to City Hall first. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Okay. We'll start here. I don't know if this is... He's a prominent figure, supposedly. It could be a newspaper thing, though. Oops. This is not it. See, I've learned. Recent celebrities? Old City? Haha. The past week has brought us a new scandal regarding the local so called artistic higher society. It all began at the painting sellout named by local artists as the Dance of Decadence. The director of a publishing house, The Lion, <laughs> excuse me, Darren Turwick, broke the I idol by throwing a chair at a decadent artist Boniface Mercurio. As Mr. Turwick said later, he did it because Mr. Mercurio brought dishonor to his name. The column writer graciously, graciously reminds the reader that recently Mr. Mercurio was spotted with Mrs. Turwick at a coffee shop. Afterwards, an orchestra conductor, Kurt Gallagher, smashed a painting across Mr. Turwick's head to protect his friend Mercurio. Large brawl started, including a large number of the customers um, after a protracted fight, the police arrived. All the high society brawlers were arrested and placed under guard for a week. What a breathtaking event it was. As your loyal personal advisor, I suggested you obtain a souvenir from the sellout. Unfortunately, it has since ended. But Boniface Mercur Mercurio himself invites our readers to visit his home and purchase one of his paintings. You will find him at the address Hermes Avenue between Scarlet Street and Olive Street in Old City. 
Okay. Uh, Old City. Between Scarlet and Olive. Scarlet. Olive. Hermes. Somewhere there. Closest? Nah, it looks like this. On. Excuse me, young man. Where do you think you're going? Greetings, ma'am. I'm looking <laughs> for the... I don't care who you're looking for. You shall not pass. No visitors allowed. I wish to buy a painting from Mr. Boniface Mercurio. Is he at... Dearie, tell me because old age has made me blind. Did someone write information bureau on my forehead? <laughs> because I'm not here to answer your questions. Entry is for residents only. If you aren't a resident, please leave, or I shall report you to the police. Oh, gosh. I am the police, <clears throat> I say, in a non-shrill voice. Um, okay, so we need to make ourselves look like him. And Mercurius Humblandly said that only residents permitted to enter. I guess I'm not as tanned and unkempt as the bohemian artist. Uh, okay. Where is... Yeah, let's go buy some clothes. I think... There we go. I think I remember seeing a tan, tan makeup kit. Don't miss out on the best carpets. Nice for the... Let's Okay. Tan powder. Why does he look so different right now? Um Bohemian. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing else is unlocked right now. A good choice. Oh, good I should not have <laughs> a head wound. Choice there indeed. Um. slower for some reason. No visitors allowed. Wait. It's because I have a beard. <laughs> I didn't take off the beard. La 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 la. Uh, maybe he grew one. She doesn't know. No Visitors what? allowed. Oh, he has stubble. I don't think I have stubble. Oops. Arceus, how are you? How's it going? How are you doing today? To buy Don't some miss facial out hair. on my. Let's pick. Uh. 
designer stubble. How much money do we have? Or maybe it's artist. Maybe it's the artist beard. That's probably what it is. Look, we'll just let's just go ahead and buy it all. A good. Artist bristles, choice. I bet. A good choice in the uh, a drive lurk. Hope you're doing good. I'm good, but gonna drive home real quick. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. All right. Uh, it was this way. We're solving a case. Stolen paintings. We're investigating an artist right now. We're, we're investigating the artist who made the paintings. No. What? Visitors. Allow. Okay, maybe it's the other one. Maybe it's not the artist bristles. Right, I have okay. Designer stubble. No visitors allowed. Let me out. What do what am I missing? Is there nobody sells wigs? Right? I mean, the, the hair is pretty much the only thing that is... Right? We're wearing... <laughs> uh, I got my homework done early. Uh, yeah, when are you thinking? Also, Balto, you have the the next bit badge. You are the only person with this, and it looks so good. The I, this is the first time I'm seeing it in chat. Actually, <laughs> it looks so good, Balto. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Let's see. I need... Nobody sells wigs as far as I know. Uh, yes, that works for me. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, how's your day? Is this? Who's this? Don't miss out on my unique clothes. Let's pick something that suits you. <gasps> I just didn't check the hats. That's what it was. A good choice. Perfect. Good now choice. we are <laughs> unrecognizable. Indeed. It was. Don't take a nap. I won't. I won't. No naps. We're gonna continue solving cases, and then I'll be I'll be ready. Wait, yes. Just weird. Lots of crypto <laughs> crypto news to discuss. Perfect. <clears throat> I did. I don't know what what's happened. I heard something. I I heard something about. They were saying like. <laughs> someone said. Um, <laughs> Congratulations on being no, I'm not verified. I don't think what's weird is I checked and it doesn't show that Twitter Blue is available for purchase yet, but people show you can click someone's verification thing and it'll show if they um purchased it via um if they're verified verified or if they are Twitter Blue verified. But the symbol is virtually the same. <laughs> it looks like fraud. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm curious. I, I'm curious, but it's weird. I don't know how that's like, um, how people have it yet. I guess. Um, but I heard someone say something about they're like, 
There's a person in my apartment complex who has a a crypto decal Tesla, uh, like it, one of those like car wraps, I guess. And they were like, I'm so curious to see how his week is going <laughs> and something like that. So I assumed there was some crypto news that I just haven't seen or something because I didn't quite get it. But Boniface, finally, is that you? Ah, old age does terrible things to one's sight. I didn't recognize you at first. <laughs> that oh, sounds like a cool I'm person ashamed for to sure. Admit that I've lost my key. Do you have a spare? I agree. For heaven's sake. How many times will you lose that key of yours? Of course I have a spare. You artists all live in your own little world. Please, accept my thanks. I would rather accept your rent. Lol. You promised to pay me several weeks ago and I'm still waiting. I will pay you, I promise, very soon. You'd better do, my dear. Or else I'll just change the lock. And I won't fall for those cow eyes. Is that a compliment? <clears throat> Ah, uh, yes. Cow eyes. Thank you. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh. Well, this is awkward. We're at Mercurio's flat, and Mercurio has, has been f flattened. Knife is missing. Blue cloth fibers. Uh, can I look closer at that? No. It appears the wine was truly awful. <laughs> Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching. I wonder where he got that fancy camera. Hey, how's he gonna explain this one? Yeah, I have, I have no idea. He's kind of messing with the time of death a little bit by being here. Aunt May Whiskey, Brandy Bucks. Quite a collection he had here. The chest has been searched. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Oh yeah, I guess we should examine the body. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Soaked in blood. It seems as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags. Judging by post-mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. Um. <sighs> what are you missing? Nothing in his hands. Oh, knife? Oh, right, the weapon. A normal kitchen knife. Could be the murder weapon. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? Our stolen the photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. The blood has dried. I've heard of this style of painting. It is called Expressionism. Where is John? <laughs> I still have 
to show now. Okay. See somebody rifling through his stuff? gosh uh, <laughs> what's the other option here oh uh. we don't see any other cuts though Not even trying, Sherry. Awesome Hold train. on. So this is suggesting that he killed himself. But Mercurio was developing okay. photographs when the intruder snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor. He grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him, but it was too late. Why did Mercurio attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight? To strike the intruder? Not with his painting, it was too important to him. didn't want to kill Mercurio. Mercurio's murderer, or murder wasn't the thief's goal. Okay. Can I look at this again? It's time for some chemical magic, John. Ooh. Okay, now we. I'll walk through this one. Alright, so we need um, two red, minus six green, and five blue. Um, so what we can do to get the green is we have negative five. I'm going to, well, hold on. This is going to make this four. It is. Okay, so hold on. We are going to make it go down one. So that is negative six. We linked these two. And now we need it to be, oh, that's actually fine. It needs to be negative six, so perfect. All right, so we'll leave that there. Now I need two red. So I'll go ahead and just grab this. Uh, th red three, we're going to make it go down. So we link that. And now we need um, the blue five so we'll do the opposite so then we do we grab this four we link it to the addition one so now we have five this allows us just to like combine two so we need to take the minus six 
the two. You can only like link two things at once. Now we have two and the six. And now let's, uh, whoops, let's do that again. Uh, whoops, I have. Uh, so two minus six, we add this one, and now all we have to do is connect the last one and confirm. I've managed to erase the blood by using chemicals. It's a still life painting of Mercurio's room. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't look like the painting we need, Sherry. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. Let's put it on the easel where it belongs. Oh. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? I noticed the skull was missing. Oh. The monster was actually a man. Poor girl. John, you ought to be thrilled. We are now hunting the devil himself. Uh, what were you saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, daily routine. Did you find something? A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from his back and multiple people in masks watching the scene. It all adds up, but the act of love, it wasn't given willingly, John. It was a violation, and the girl, she was with child. Give that to me now. Did you recognize someone? Yeah, this got uh, dark. Although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her face. Get that image out of your brain. You have to continue the investigation. I must speak to the landlady. Perhaps she saw or heard something. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth about Mercurio. It will hurt her. John, that's illogical. Sooner or later, she will come here and discover a corpse, and I still need to talk to her. Just avoid mentioning corpse, all right? Stick to the character, tell her to call the police. I'll take that into account. And wait here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those horrific details. Uh, okay. Things got so dark, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, photograph. Visitor uh, might have wanted the photo. And these are still locked, though. Okay. Is that all we needed to find? Okay, the skull is still gone. That's okay, I guess. So, John's challenge is John doesn't like the idea of telling the landlady the truth about Mercurio's death. He suggested staying in character. That's not the exit. Uh, right. What's wrong, dear? You look like you've seen a ghost. Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh. You're talking about that limping man. I'm sorry I let him in. I was scared. And I thought maybe... Maybe he would motivate you to find money so that you would pay your rent. No offense, dear. Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. I was so certain you didn't leave your flat that day. He was of average height, had a limp and a tattoo on his neck. And he was smoking Malpal cigarettes. My husband used to smoke those. They have a horrible smell I can recognize from a mile away. Uh, call the police. Can I ask a favor? Of course, dearie. Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat. And don't look inside until they come up. What? What trouble have you stepped in this time? It really doesn't matter. Thank you, Mum. A perfect gentleman, is that... Spare the landlady's feelings. Okay. I'm curious if we get a challenge oh, for completing Sherry, all of John's tests. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes. <laughs> Fair. All right, look. Okay. We're 
we're back to normal. Uh, RC, is so what are we playing? We are, oh, what's, it changed, oh, it changed for me. Uh, we are currently playing Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. It's like a, um, there we go. It is like a, uh, prequel game where it's it's like before we met uh watson we have gone back to our home uh like where we grew up as a kid uh and we're here kind of investigating the death of our mother but we are uh also solving other cases so it's kind of like an open worldish sherlock game so currently we are solving a case of a, an artist who has gotten murdered his paintings were stolen we now learned that there was a bit of um it's kind of hard to say um there was a a, a bad thing that happened <laughs> and we apparently that's what this case is about currently what's the current completion does it say here 70 percent but it's hard to say what it counts for that um like uh it also might be um, like side quests as well. So I don't know how far. A bad thing. Oh, knowers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this case actually has become kind of intense, uh, to be honest. Um, let's see. Mercury's murderer and the gallery thief are the same person. The thief wanted the photograph. The thief was at Mercurio's flat to steal the photograph, but found Mercurio instead and killed him in self-defense. Okay, that's currently where we're at, but we're still missing some stuff. John has redrawn the photograph of a violation that I found at Mercurio's place. In this painting, he depicts a pregnant woman with tribal scars on her face. Okay, so I need to I need to pin this. I need to ask around. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like though. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, but I never heard of this. What am I dressed as? I am currently rich, upper class. Maybe I need to be. Uh, maybe I need to be a Cordona local. Hold on. Do I have... I don't think I have many Cordona local clothes. Don't. Uh, let's go... So in this game, you can dress yourself in different ways to make you seem like... Um, uh, like... More favorable to different people. I think I need to look more like a Cordona nice local. Let's pick some. Uh, and uh, not jet friend. Yeah, one hundred percent. Let's see. What else? Do, what else do they have? What offerings do they have? To make us. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. It does both. Let's do. Let's do this one. It does both upper class. And well, we'll also buy the one that's not upper class. Uh, well, it's not as upper class. A good okay. choice. A good choice indeed. Hello. Help me, please. No, it's the first time I've heard it. Hmm, okay. Are you able to help me? Stay away from me and from people like me too, or you'll regret it. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Excuse me, just one question. My friend, I know nothing. I'm sorry. Hmm. This is a local. Excuse me, just one question. If you ask that again, oh. I will find where you live and break your windows. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us. Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to be dressed. Let's do hobo. You sure you know what you're doing? Could you help me? I would like to help a companion in misfortune, but I know nothing about this. 
so is this like a first degree offense or what are we talking about? Uh, th <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, gosh, I don't even, I don't even know. It's an assault, I guess, <laughs> of some kind. Um, yeah. <laughs> May I ask we can leave something? that there. I don't answer questions by your sort. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like either a local or a hobo. But depending on. <laughs> Let's see. That's a worker? Hold on. Maybe. Do we know what area of town this happened in? Uh, maybe Old City? What if I go to Old City? Am I in Old City? Where am I? Oh, wait. Oh, uh, let's go over here. Let's go back to Old City. Uh, we'll just stick with that thing, yeah. <laughs> I did, I did not expect a game, the game to have something like this. I am not interested in your stories. Okay, hold on. Let me switch clothes real fast. Where's the... Is How about this now? Hmm, interesting. But I've never heard of it. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? No, <laughs> John, but I'm trying my best. And that's all we can do. More Jet After Dark. Yeah, this case, more Jet After Dark than I anticipated. That is correct. Um, <laughs> it was just suddenly, it just suddenly escalated. I was like, oh, okay. Where is... I feel like none of the children are <laughs> what I'm talking about. Now, I can't, okay, I can't even talk to you. Uh. Could you help me? You're a funny little street rat sniffing for information, but you won't get any cheese from me. Is that because, hold on. I can't tell if that's just because you don't know anything or. Help me, please. Yes, Fred. Let me explain. There we go. <laughs> okay. I hate that I'm just like wearing something just slightly off and it just, they don't give me a hint. Yeah, this is uh, pretty intense for, for even a Sherlock game, I feel like. The scars on the girl's face seem to be from uh, Yu's, Yue's ethnic group tribe. The only uh, place where you can find uh, these people are in Cordona. It, or in Cordona is the refugee camp located under Victoria Bridge between Scaladio and Silverton. Scaladio, Silverton, Victoria Bridge. Boom. We're headed that way. <laughs> Kids, get out of my way. <laughs> Am I? Also, I feel like the run button, something has happened to the run button. I used to run faster than this. Oh, I crossed the bridge. They said under the bridge? <laughs> Sherlock was younger yesterday. Yeah, I guess he's just, he's just gotten tired. I don't blame him. Beasts. Oh. Uh oh. I 
I assume I'm going to need to look like a police officer. Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, and sure. Murderers! They're completely livid. First they come to our land, then they murder our Where do you think you're going? Sir, this place is off limits to the public. Please state your business or leave. Or I shall request that the police escort you out. Uh, I'm a private investigator. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm a private investigator. I'm looking for a witness for a case. A private investigator? Really? Even so, you're oh. not authorized. I can't let you in. And you are? I'm Ronald Harlow. Here to handle the refugee situation on behalf of City Hall. I'm the acting supervisor here. So I have full authority here to ask you to leave. Or I shall order the police to detain you for trying to pass the blockade. Please, step back. Okay, so apparently it didn't matter what I was wearing, I don't think. <laughs> Slight mustache. Tries to appear older. Overdressed. Wants to look authoritative. Sweating. Stressed. Pale bag. Uh, pale bags under eyes. Works indoors. Poor lighting. Sedentary. Clean shoes. Huh. A tired pen pusher or a dazed formalist? Let's see. Ronald Harlow is a depressed young clerk. Exhausted by his day-to-day -day job, City Hall has assigned him to oversee the refugee camp, but he is too tired and indifferent to solve the problems that arise. Pale young clerk who tries his best to oversee a refugee camp assigned to him by City Hall. He is not very happy with such responsibility, but he always does things by the book and executes all tasks given. I'm going to say tired pen pusher. The people in the crowd are shouting about a murder in the camp. Are you trying to hide it? It's mere assumption. I assure you that the situation is under the police's control. If it was under control, if there was no dead body, you wouldn't be as nervous as you are. You would be sitting in your cozy dark corner of a city hall room doing nothing as usual. Yet, you're here, trying to deal with a series of problems you never asked for. These insults are inappropriate. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing for this camp. Even though the rest of City Hall doesn't give a bloody squat about the refugees, maybe I didn't want to be assigned to this camp. But I'm trying to do my best for these people. If not for my work, they might not have any shelter or food even. I apologize, Mr. Harlow. Perhaps I was prejudiced towards you, but in any case, I'm sure that you would still want this to be over as quickly as possible. The current reality is that neither you nor the police are managing things well here. You are unable to calm the crowd. You have simply never handled a situation like this before. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? Uh, I can help you. I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly interested in solving things quickly and quietly. And how exactly would you manage that? Simply tell the police that I'm with City Hall and I'm permitted to investigate the scene. I'll work out the rest. But in return, I need your help finding my witness. She's a young refugee. She's with child or was with child recently. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for is there, all the refugees are now being detained and interrogated by the police. They won't allow you to speak with her. And I can't do anything about that until the situation settles down. So it's in our mutual interest to settle it. Oh, I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help. All right, Mr. Holmes, I'll tell the police to allow you to come inside. Just tell me when you're ready. Nice. Mr. Harlow, how did the refugees end up here exactly? Oh, so you're not from around here yourself? I've been away for some time, but I read the papers. Yes, this whole story has been in the papers for almost a year now. They were smuggled to Cordona on a ship from Africa. Smuggled? Then why didn't you deport them? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned warehouse. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. We aren't even certain as to which ship it was. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days, you see. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? There was no other option. We're still trying to work out what to do with them. I only hope we'll find a humane solution and not put them on a raft and float them out to sea. 
Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do here? What are your responsibilities? What I do and what I am responsible for are two different <laughs> realities, Mr. Holmes. On paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, security, provision, and the refugees in general. What I actually do most of the time is knock on every city hall door trying to obtain some funding, or at least rations for the camp. Are the police here on city hall's behalf too? They are. Minus those who came here after the body was found. The governor won't let the refugees disperse into the island, so there's a significant police presence guarding the camp. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. I'm ready to I'm go in. to take a look at the scene. All right. Go inside the camp and find Inspector Tewksbury. He's the officer investigating the scene. Tell him I sent you. Say you're an independent expert from City Hall. He'll fill in the details for you. I'll find my way with words. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. Okay. So it didn't matter what I was wearing. So let's go back to our standard... Oh, we already had the vampire makeup. Perfect. So they keep these refugees under a bridge like proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Are you too Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Harlow let me in, sir. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a surveyor of refugee affairs with City Hall. Your Inspector Tewksbury. <laughs> Just look at my outfit. A surveyor. What does that even mean? In short, I've been sent to conduct an extensive report on the incident for the Colonial Office and to assess all the damage inflicted on state property. Got it. Another paper worm sent to count money and get food for archive mold. Go on, look around, but don't make yourself too at home. As if I didn't have enough problems before you appeared. Could you first tell me what happened here? What happened? People from the bridge above the camp heard a woman screaming and saw a mass of refugees attacking a man. Clearly not a refugee. When the camp guards came by, the man was floating in the sewage canal with a knife in his chest. Bam. A murder. Big news for Cordona. I'm sure. Thank you, Inspector. Uh, Sassy, the game came out actually almost a year ago. November 15th of last year. And none of the refugees were harmed? One fellow was cut. He's lying over there near their kitchen. He's in a bad way. You mentioned a woman screaming who attracted the bypassers on the bridge. Was she harmed? No, she's all right. But perhaps the whole debacle started because of her. She started wailing and the refugees stood up for the girl. And where is this young woman now? Back there in the shacks, same as the rest of the refugees. She's been questioned by my men, but she's just some refugee girl. Can't understand much English. Did you learn anything about the dead man? The fellow looks like a thug. I've had dozens like him fished out of the sea over the past 20 years. Ever since these refugees arrived, there have been people on Cordona with bad blood in them. My best bet is that this thug had something against them too. And no clue as to his identity? He had some items on his body, but nothing to indicate who he was or where he was from. I think I should catalogue his possessions in my records. Go on. They're on the table near the body. Do you have any suspects yet? You're joking, right? I've got a whole camp full of suspects. And if you ask me, this bloke had it coming. Better bury him and forget about the whole thing. And now there's a crowd gathered at the camp, and my superiors say we must thoroughly interrogate the refugees. At least those who can understand any English. Do you believe that your superiors wish to get rid of the refugees? I think that both our superiors would rather keep the story quiet. Since that's an unaffordable luxury now, they're looking how to protect their public image. That's why I have to waste my time waiting for my people to turn every stone and befriend every refugee. I was just thinking if Dr. Vampire will be a thing in the next game. I hope so. I hope they continue. Well, uh, in the older games, they also go. had... Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon <laughs> another dead body. Zero. Uh, they also had costumes in the past game, but if you guys remember, it was like you couldn't keep them on. You could only basically wear them for certain cases. I hope they keep this, keep it like this, where you can just sort of wear whatever. Hold on. Where's evidence one? That's eight, three, four, nine. Where is... 
Aha. Number one. Uh, yeah, that was boring. Yeah, I hated that. Because it was like, I want to wear, like, even in the... They didn't have a lot of costumes, but I remember wanting just to wear, like, the Deerstalker cap, and it was like, no, you can't do that. Debris under hmm. fingernails. Coal dust under the nails. I don't see much coal around here. Hmm. Is this the same guy? Does he have a... Heavy boots, ah. with one sole far more worn than the other. This man was limping, John. It is our man. An interesting tattoo. Does it mean something? Oh, I guess we should look at the weapon. A steel dirk, sharp. A common accessory among sailors and soldiers. <laughs> Mine now, apparently. I'd say the blade penetrated upward. However, the wound is too messy to be certain. A violent death. This man, limping. Coal dust. I think we're on to something here, John. Thug also visited Vogel's gallery. The dead man from the refugee camp was the same person who had broken into Vogel's gallery. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go uh, sleep. I have a good one. Arzias, have a good night. I hope you have a, a good one. We'll see you later. If they find out about the passage, everything will go to hell. Oh, really? Find out what the passage is for. I don't know what that means. Money, hysteria, public camp lockdown. Police officers are worried that the situation with the dead body will put the camp into strict lockdown and they will lose the money flow they were earning from their scheme. Nobody will know anything if you keep your bloody mouth shut. The coppers smell fishy here, Sherry. <laughs> Perhaps we should sniff around in the camp a little more thoroughly. Uh, the intruder's body was lying in the sewage canal before the police dragged it out. The man has been stabbed in the chest. The scars on the girl's face seem to be... Okay, we found that. Um, he was stabbed. John suggests we could learn more about this matter by asking around the camp, but we should go do this. We should do this before we leave the camp for good. The place might be put into lockdown again. Okay. A simple leather sheath. Perfect for a duck. Malpal, soaked with salt water. 1,000 pounds. A fair sum, especially considering British currency isn't very common in Cordona. Is this familiar to you? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Someone bled profusely here. A fresh crack, as if the crate was hit recently. He's slav squatting, kind of. Actually, he is. Look at him go. So proud of John. All right. Um. A furrow in the ground. A blood trail leading to or from the canal. Okay, so that's four. Eight. Oh, there's five. 
Oh, carnelian agate beads, a traditional African adornment. The blood sprayed off the blade after the strike. No hint of blood or impact. It might have been used as an improvised weapon. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. The cut is deep, potentially serious if not treated immediately. He is in shock, feverish and dehydrated. Sherry, you know first aid. Surely you have a duty to help this man. You can't leave him to certain death. Um, okay. The refugees have been detained and will not leave until all the circumstances are clarified. Back off. Okay. <laughs> Someone was dragged against their will. I need to concentrate on finding something to clean the wound, something to disinfect, and something to use as a bandage. That will kill, not save him. Okay, let's not use that. Just washed. Better than nothing to bandage the wound. Near something. Ah. I'll use it to create a solution. May I ask you something? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Aloe vera. I can use this to stop the infection from spreading. I've collated all the ingredients. Now to prepare the first aid solution. Chemical analysis. So we need six red minus ten uh, and minus three blue. Okay, this one's actually tougher. one make this negative wait cancel this combine these two now I just need this the red you have a three here I can only make it go up two times. Make this go uh, 
Uh, oh wait, what is this? Hold on, times two and half. It looks like so. Oh, I can math. Hold on. Uh, okay, so now we just need to combine this with this, and boom. Done. Uh, thank you. This should make you feel better, my friend. Now remain lying down and drink as much water as you can. Well done, Sherry. At least he won't die from the infection. Okay. So we did that. There's this one, though. We can learn more about this matter by asking around the camp, but we should do this before we leave the camp for good. Should I look like a police officer for this? Back off. But I'm one of you. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Is this familiar to you? Unfortunately, my casebook is empty on this. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. May I ask who you something? You about Unfortunately, what my casebook is empty on this. Could you help me? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Oh, I am bored. Tell me when you find the answer. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like. You still here? Uh, let's know. I'll just look around and do my paperwork. You won't even notice me. I wish. <laughs> okay. Um, what if... Back off. Oh, man. I was hoping I could, like, sneak in. Huh... Do you know anything about this? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. May I ask for your assistance? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. I'm just two police officers that can't discussing the, some sort of scheme and the fact that a dead man could cut off the flow of money. John suggests we could learn more. Like, can I ask these people? Are you able to help me? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. May I ask you something? I've heard something, but actually, no, never mind. I know nothing. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like.
murder. Beasts! See, okay. Let's look at all the evidence first, and then we'll come back to this. So we were at five, six, seven. We looked at eight is over here. A man's footprint. A heavy boot with a worn out sole. Um. Ah. <sighs> Police boots. Always happy to trample evidence. It's eight. Clearly a left hand print here. You know what? I'd like to understand. What? How did our dead man end up inside the camp in the first place? Sherry, just look at this. Living quarters in a sewer. What kind of a genius bureaucrat came up with this idea? Good question. Sealed shut. I doubt our man could get through these grates. It's unlikely anyone could get in or out of the camp by water without alerting the police guards. No, it's too short for these walls or cliffs.
see anything. Get that. Let's double check over here. you need to be oh do I the little like node things have popped up ah wait I was looking around for those little nodes but... <laughs> thank you ah. a single malpal butt Roadman Cigarettes, a brand highly regarded by law enforcement officers. So there wasn't any sophisticated infiltration plan. The good old police just let the man into the camp. Hmm. Now we have everything we need to get the full picture of what happened at the camp. Okay. <laughs> let me just sit on this little wooden bridge. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of pieces to this, isn't there? All right. Goodness. All right. Okay, so she's being drug. That would explain how this guy got injured. So the two options are that she's like being protected or being drugged. Let's do that. This is, she fell. Oh, and the beads broke. So let's do that. Um. Let's do that. So this is like the boxes were kicked. Let's do this. This is he is pushed over. Kick. What do we say about this boot print? Is that is that all of them? So what point that would I guess he would have Shows him being stabbed. So maybe it's that. You're not even trying. I am trying. <laughs> Hold on, double checking. I'm not missing a thing. There's nothing. Okay, there's nothing to validate or do over there. He didn't just get. You're not even trying, what if it's Sherry. Still Concentrate. being what if it's still being kicked? But maybe it's it's this, which explains the boxes. You're not even trying. Maybe Sherry. he got pushed. Concentrate. <laughs> maybe he got Maybe he got pushed. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. We're doing our best. I know. I'm literally imagining a crime. I'm trying my best. Okay, I feel pretty confident about that. This is, uh, yeah, someone gets hurt. She falls down. 
what are the options here? Maybe, oh, maybe he... Oh, maybe that's where things went. Ha! So, we have a thug who came to take a refugee woman with him. She resisted, but he dragged her by force. One of the refugees stood in his way, armed with a stick. Yet he could do nothing against a cutthroat with a blade. The man didn't anticipate that the other refugees would intervene and stand against him. In the confusion, the woman managed to break free. The thug took fright and fled. He was stopped by the falling crates. He stumbled and fell, piercing his chest with his own blade. Ah. However, the wound didn't cause instant death. He managed to stand, but still bleeding, he lost his balance on the bridge and fell. Before all of this, the man had freely entered the camp through the main entrance. The police admitted him after they had a short smoke together. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. <laughs> In our man's case, it's the same sword. <laughs> John. Okay. Now. Uh. So I, can, I still can't. Back off. Okay. I think we need to move in there, but I think we need to talk to the. Interesting, yeah. I kind of prefer that in this Mr. case. Mr. Harlow, your refugees didn't murder anyone. What? Pray tell me what you've learned. All right, listen carefully. This might solve one problem for you, but will create a few more. Oh, well, that's a great start. Hmm. The man came to the camp intending to kidnap one of your refugees, a woman. What he didn't expect was that the refugees would stand up to protect the woman. A brawl had broken out. In the chaos of it, the man stumbled over those crates and fell on his own blade. How do you know he fell on his own blade? The wound in his chest was inflicted from an mm. unusual angle. That's right. It was not an offensive stab, shall we say. The refugees didn't touch him. And judging by the blood at the scene, the intruder managed to raise himself but was unable to walk very far. He ultimately fell into the canal. But how did he sneak into the camp? Why didn't the police see him? And this is where your new problems emerge, Mr. Harlow. What do you mean? You're not a dull-witted man. You know what I mean. There is no feasible way to get into the camp without the police guards knowing of it. <sighs> the pile of mess I had to sort out has just become bigger. But somehow that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, I thank you for your help, Mr. Holmes. I'll take it from here. Meanwhile, I'll make sure the police aren't detaining the refugees any longer. You can go back in and look for your witness. You think one small clock can make any okay. difference in this place? Who knows, John? Oh, just one ill-fitting cog could make the whole machine crumble. Everyone's all here. Could you help me? They often take us from the camps to work. Most don't mind, though. It's the only way we get a glimpse of freedom. According to the refugees, some shady people regularly visit the camp and take refugees away with them to perform various work. Work is usually hard, but the refugees receive money and food. The girl was abused after she was supposedly taken to uh, taken to such work. Since then, the refugees decided to not allow their women to be taken. Was that depravity in the photograph, one of the workplaces the refugees are taken to? And all the while, the police look the other way. Ugh, typical. Uh, that's awful. Um... I think we can still talk to people about it. Is this familiar to you? Sorry. We don't see much here. Can I ask you a question? Sorry. We don't see much here. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Is this familiar to you? Sorry. We don't see much here. I feel like I can remain in these clothes because we just had someone give us a response, but... Do you know anything about this? Sorry. We don't see much here. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? This may be surprising, but they don't see much here. Could you help me? Sorry. We don't see much here. Can you satisfy my curiosity? 
Sorry, <laughs> we don't see much here. There is a difference between a, a speech bubble and a crowd Morning. symbol. Oh. Uh. Talk to the case participant. Oh. Different tech. Um. Who's considered a case participant? You're the one who tended to our man's wounds. I thank you greatly. The police didn't allow us to help him. The police will leave you alone now. I've proven to them that the man who came into the camp died due to his own foolishness. Thank you for standing up for us. But nobody would help us without a reason. You're here because you want something. Yes, I do. I need to speak with the girl drawn here. Mm. The dead man came for her too. He wanted to take the girl away, but we won't allow her to be hot again. What do you want from Nayla? Nayla. She was hurt some time ago. I'm here to find the people who did this and bring them to justice. And to find them, I need Nayla's help. Will you let me speak to her? Justice. There's no justice on this land. But you helped us, so maybe your words are not empty. You can speak to Nayla if she wants it. But I will be watching you. Case participant? Hello, Nayla. <laughs> My name is Sherlock. I know someone I don't look you. creepy I at all. I am here to help. I'm trying to find the people involved and bring them to justice, please. There is a photograph, and I'm sorry, it is terrible, but I simply must ask. Where did this happen? What can you tell me about these people? Christ, Sherlock. Nayla, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. You come here for me, but you are rude and cruel and condescending. A cross. The man had this cross. Now go away. Leave us be. I do not need another white man's help. Oh, glad that wasn't me. <laughs> not my best work, John. My long shot. Nayla doesn't want his meddling. I'm starting to wonder what this all achieves. But she helped you anyway. Now we know that maniac's face and the cross he wore, we can still catch him. And did not come here by chance. He's very important. He is a very important threat in this case. And his tattoo might help us pull it. Um... Cross? Uh... Thug came to the camp intending to kidnap a woman. He had the opportunity to kill her, but that wasn't his goal. A henchman, not merely a thief. He is not merely a thief, but also a kidnapper. A henchman who takes on various roles. The Defiler is a high-ranking official. Uh, badges such as these are usually awarded to high-ranking officials. The Defiler from the photograph might be one. Ah, there we go. Um, okay. How do I? Okay. Interesting. still here the guards at the sewers were speaking about taking refugees out of the camp do you know anything about this inspector less than you do obviously and this doesn't bother you as an officer of the law 
I can neither punish them nor put them on the right track, if that's what you're asking. Maybe your friends at City Hall could do something about it, but I seriously doubt that. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of being frowned on for my uniform. If those fine gentlemen you've eavesdropped on are in some shady business, that's on their heads. So there's a smuggling ring in the camp. This wasn't the first time that someone I'll just look around and do camp. my paperwork. You won't even notice me. I wish. <laughs> okay, there was just so much happening right in that moment. We find out where the thug came from. Okay. We I just wanted to make sure that we completed that. I see. Alright, so now let's keep You're talking to him. Though. Yes, I have evidence for you. I've already told you all I've learned. The intruder has a most peculiar tattoo on his neck, two lines and a point. Do you know anything about it? You really want to know, kid? Why? You want to play a policeman or something? I'm sure you have it in your records, so it won't hurt if I have it in mine. In my records, it's just a tattoo, as it should be in yours. Ah, to hell with you. Suit yourself as to what you're going to do with it. Off the record, though, such tattoos are often connected to a man named Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Bernadotti, you say? A respectable businessman in Scaladio. His company imports goods and wines, and smuggles everything that can be smuggled between the colonies and the mainland. His people can be identified by an obscure tattoo. Just like the one over there our friend has. But these are all merely rumors, you see. If Mr. Bernadotti was a criminal, he'd be in prison now. Or hanged, right? You're disturbing a hornet's nest here, son. Okay. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so now we can go invest do some investigating. Um, hmm. I guess let's go to Gosh, John. Is this I just need to collect my thoughts, Sherry. Uh Quizby <laughs> welcome in. How are you? Uh, let's go to City Hall. Uh, we're currently doing a case that's a little intense. I will warn everybody that as they come in. It's a little intense and involves uh, some kind of abuse that is probably a bit darker than we normally play. If that is something that you do not wish to take part in, that is okay and totally understandable. It kind of took us by surprise. So I'm partially, I'm kind of like, I kind of want to finish this case fast uh, because it's a little intense, to be honest. Um, we need to see, a, hold on, subjects, officials, periods, oh, no, probably not that. Um, occupation? Aha! First try. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, and uh, I'm doing good, by the way. Thank you for asking. Uh, Thomas Norton, born 1840 in London, graduated from the University of Oxford in 1864. In 1869, started working um, at the home office as a secretary. In 1875, took a position as a military commissioner in India, honored by the queen herself with the Order of the Bath in 1877. Uh, for, uh, 1st of March, 1878, was appointed as the British envoy in Cordona with his own cabinet in the city hall. And also, okay, and we're in the right place for this. So we need to find, okay, Scaladio. Uh, citizens? No, wait. Businesses. It's first try. Uh, <laughs> 1873, uh, the Bernadotti Company, a main office, southeastern Scaladio Bazaar Road near the crossing with Roman Road. Um, ships goods between African British colonies and the rest of the United Kingdom, including Cordona, imported 
products include food, wine, coffee, everyday goods, and more. The founder of the company is Mr. Bernadotti, born in uh, Sicilia. Sicilia? Italy. Mr. Bernadotti moved to London as a 39-year-old businessman later the same year. He moved uh, his base of opera operations to Cardona and his words to be closer to the colonies. He has business in uh, Mr. Brian Adati's arrival in Cordona in 1873. He has been, he's become a notable patron of the arts. Uh, among his latest contributions is the purchasing of new equipment for the police station and aiding the governor in bringing an airship called Led Zeppelin across from Germany. It's all connected. What a lovely man this Bernadotti is, eh, Sherry? I can't wait until we get to meet him. Lady Duckworth, I love that. Uh, you're getting better at locating the archive info. I am. And hello, Adrian. How are you? Okay, so we have a thing now. And also this. Which I have learned uh, from N. Shady. That that means we need to speak to um, a, a case somebody. A case thread person. Somebody involved in this case, I think. Um... Thomas Norton is the perpetrator. Uh, and I assume we need to go to here. Scaladio, Bizarre Road, Roman Road. Scaladio, Bizarre Road, Roman Road. That's my guess. Also, why are why are we dressed normal? There you go. I'm sorry, why weren't we dressed normal? Now we look ourselves. Um I don't think there is a faster way. I think we're just gonna need to run. Also, again, I feel like my movement has slowed. What's up with that? He, he used to run with a lot more gusto, if you ask me. Because the game took a, a page out of Twitch's book and thought you wanted to be something you're not. That's true. <laughs> Like Twitch does with my badges all the time. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so somewhere around this corner is the Bernadotti Company. Near the crossing. With bizarre. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do a little loop here. related to this at all, or is this just a location? Hmm. That guy looks very proper. Southeastern Scaladio, Bizarre Road, near the crossing. <sighs> um, it's on Bizarre Road, so maybe... Go 
bookstore. Was ist das? Hey, John. These workers don't look like your average Cordona folk. Uh -huh. They're refugees from the camp. That's our way in, Sherry. Oh, hello. Hey, yo. This is private property. Oh. You lost something. I'm here to discuss business with Mr. Bernadotti. I tried the front door, but... Mr. Bernadotti isn't seeing anyone. You have three seconds to walk away or you'll never walk again. Capito? It's in Mr. Bernadotti's best interest to... One... <laughs> Hit him! One of your people is dead. Listen, the man Bernadotti sent to... Cho! <laughs> I did try to resolve this peacefully. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so abrupt. Lock on. There we go. Oh. I couldn't miss the party. Don't bother moving. You do. Take a rest. Good my thing. Where are these explosives? <laughs> on them. Don't give him the pepper snuff. Yeah, there we go. The snuff's ready. Give person? him the pepper I heard snuff. His voice. Oh. oh gosh. It's all yours now. <laughs> the snuff's ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look, you can't you can't beat me. Well <laughs> you can't catch me when I'm running this fast. <laughs> Look. Incredible. He, we're at a, I think we're at a standstill. And haha! -ha, the other way. Oh man. He's too fast for me. It's just too fast. Uh, wait. Haha! -ha! I tricked him. I, I confused him earlier. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff. Ready. What? Hey, Don't leave me alone. Him. I'm Give him stuck the in an snuff. animation. No more crime for you and the snuff's ready. Done. <laughs> I'm not sure that's working. You mean running around in circles? I don't know. It seemed to work pretty well for a little bit. Um <laughs> This is a warehouse adjacent to the office building. Backyard of the warehouse is busy with a lot of cargo and workers. The workers in the backyard are the refugees from the camp. The only way in is guarded, so we either storm in or find a way for the guard to let us in. We certainly found our way. Okay, we can interact with that door, but is there anything else? It's not... I thought that was... Okay, hold on. Wait, is that the only door that's accessible? Aha! Jerry, look! This seems familiar. Oh, it's the painting. 
Let's see what's hidden there. Gosh. Um, anything else? <laughs> anything else? Is there? Okay. Vogel's stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case? All right, so we have that. It's so graphic. Masks, traditional for the Chokwe people of Central Africa. A Dogon statue from West Africa. Oh. A Dogon statue from West Africa. Um. A century old at least. Yeah, Make exactly. <laughs> blue tableware. This I don't like that's it's a little excessive IMO. <laughs> it doesn't need to be it, I don't know. It doesn't need to be as graphic. Are you doing okay? No, sir. Don't hurt me. I'm not going to it's alright. I won't harm like you didn't harm the culture, folks on the I way here. Many collectors and museums would be interested in having it. Um don't come any closer. Just a tad, right? To pieces. I know. They, I mean, like, they've made it pretty clear what the, the picture was of, so it was like, okay, well, you don't have to show us. Um, I'll break you. Go ahead. No one will find your body. Um. <laughs> Keep standing in my way, and no one will ever see you again. Righto. Yes. Yep. Well, uh, excuse me, sir. I, I think I hear... I've got to... It's better I leave. Whoa. Oh, wait. Oh. Wow, that was as if somebody put my words in your mouth. <laughs> Should I have asked? Should I have done something else? I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. That's... Um... Oh, okay, that's where we just were. I got turned around. Hello. Sean, what are you doing? This is it. This is where all the magic happens. Yeah, I agree. They didn't need to go that far. I suppose it's Mr. Bernard Dotty with our fine governor. 1875. It was taken a few years back. John, how many people in Cordona have a photograph with the governor, do you think? You definitely don't have one. Please oh, hello. I have a family. Oh, don't worry. I wonder if if I had entered in differently if like the Bernadotti Company Limited Trade Network reaches the most distant colonies of the Great Empire. It must be very convenient for a man like Bernadotti. I wonder if I had entered differently, if, like, people would have interacted with me, like, in a, a little bit of a different way. So, you've cut through all the guards just to talk to me. Then come here, and we shall talk. Sherry, don't you think this office suits me? <laughs> I think it does. Quite a collection. Photograph of a little girl. Relative? Whenever you're ready. I'd hate to intrude. Mustache. Mm. Different tattoos. Doesn't shun dirty work. Had... Pelagra, damaged skin. I don't know what that is. Cold blooded, holstered pistol. Married. Huh. Uh, either, okay. Niccolo Bernadotti is a harsh gang leader and calculating businessman. He beams confidence and menace. He anticipates danger by keeping his gun near him, but holds it, but still holds it in the holster. Descends from the working class. Being raised in a poor family, he had to work in the fields. 
A bad nutrition led to suffering from pellagra. He overcame the disease, but its effects will show. Randani and his men have different tattoos in the same style. The tattoos are most probably a code that represents different ranks. Let's see. Niccolo Bernadotti is a cruel gang leader who isn't afraid of getting his hands dirty to show off his position of power, a hard worker in his youth. Um, he grew hatred with the world around him, continually expects trouble, and is always ready to make some. Huh. I'm kind of thinking Ruthless Crime Lord. Let's say Ruthless Crime Lord. Bad news. The thug you sent to the refugee camp only succeeded in stabbing himself. <laughs> His next and final journey will be to the morgue. All oh, dear horses. Who the hell are you? Sherlock Holmes. And you are Niccolo Bernadotti, a smuggler, kidnapper, and notorious cutthroat, among other things. Few men would dare waltz into my office and address me like that. You are either overconfident or unintelligent. <laughs> this is private property. Give me one reason why I should not shoot you on this spot. I am sure my friends at the station would call it self-defense. Mr. Bernadotti, do you know the name Boniface Mercurio? I do not. Mercurio was a local artist. Recently, a man broke into his apartment, ransacked the place, and killed him. The thief was looking for something. You are testing my patience, boy. In a moment, the connection will reveal itself. As I said, your man was found dead in the refugee camp. He was there to kidnap a woman, but the other refugees intervened to try and save her. The ensuing scuffle resulted in the man's accidental suicide. He sported the same tattoo as your men in this building. In fact, it also bears a resemblance to the one on your neck. Can to explain Ooh. what business your man had with this woman? You have no idea what you are talking about. I can assure you this was no kidnapping. The refugees in the camp are on edge. What happened there is a tragic accident. One I am not responsible for. For what reason was your man there if not to abduct her? Why would I answer? You are yet to justify your presence in the slightest. I was hired, privately, to investigate the recent theft of a painting from an art gallery. My investigation led me to a man from your organization, and thus, to you, Mr. Bernadotti. That is quite a stretch. Why would I need to steal a painting when I could buy anyone I wanted? Interestingly enough, I spotted the stolen painting in your storeroom. I buy and sell a lot of things, Mr. Holmes. Unfortunately, if this is true, it is not the first time I have been sold stolen merchandise. I presume you were hired by the owner of the gallery. Tell them to contact me, and we'll sort out the situation. So, this painting is why you broke into my office. So many words, so little action. When you barged into my office, Mr. Holmes, I got the impression you wanted to talk business. Now I see you had come just to talk. Tell me exactly what you want, or get out. It was necessary groundwork for what comes next. I have enough evidence to conclude that the gallery thief, the artist's killer, and the dead man in the camp are all the same person. Your time is almost up, Mr. Holmes. Before you draw your gun, there is one final detail I am yet to mention. The young woman your man was tasked to collect from the refugee camp had been defiled at a perverse masquerade party. That violation was captured in a photograph by Boniface Mercurio and used as a reference for his painting. The photo shows the attacker's face. Finally. That's why you're here, Mr. Holmes. You have the photograph. It is what your man was after when he broke into Mercurio's apartment, and it is what you're after too, isn't it, Mr. Bernadotti? You have the photograph with you. How much do you want for it? I am not naive enough to carry it with me, but I am yet to decide what I shall do with it. I know the man in the photo is a British envoy. What interest do you have in his downfall? I must admit, I'm rather impressed by how comprehensively you have pursued this matter. <laughs> and so, you deserve the honest answer. My business dealings are often arduous in their bureaucracy. A man in his position, willing to look the other way, could ease my work significantly. In return, 
I will make sure no one looks his way either. A favor for a favor. Also known as blackmail, the modus operandi of <laughs> any true professional. It was not originally my idea. Mercurio set things in motion, extorting the envoy for the most trivial of ends. Money. In response, the envoy hired my man to retrieve the painting and the photograph, eliminating Mercurio's leverage. I only learned the whole story after the artist was killed in his home. And rather than extricate yourself, instead you took over Mercurio's venture. It fell into my lap. As a businessman, I simply seized the opportunity. Now, how much do you want for the image? Uh, wait, smuggled artifacts. Why did you need the girl refugees at your warehouse? I could not help but appreciate the collection of smuggled artifacts in your storeroom. You have rather diversified your business. Oh, oh, high and mighty of you, Mr. Holmes. Not all smuggling is immoral. I pay generous rates to developing cultures and spread their culture to eager buyers. And furthermore, I supply many immigrants with a taste of home. A very convenient way of thinking. I have traveled wildly, Mr. Holmes. I've seen people in far-flung lands for whom my services are a lifeline. Without them, they would starve. The tax on cargo is often so absurd that it would be more profitable to simply sink your ship than dock it in the harbor. And trust me, I am speaking from experience. Hmm. Why did you send your man to remove the woman from the camp? Without a photograph, her testimony was the next best thing. Securing her was in everyone's interest. Victims and witnesses all too often disappear. I thought the girl was cipher with us. I did not anticipate what would happen at the camp. I saw refugees from the camp at your warehouse. They work for you. I have made certain arrangements with City Hall and the police. Thanks to me, refugees can work and be paid. It's a pathway to freedom. And how much do you save by capitalizing on their cheap labor? I have heard no complaints. They seem happy just to get out of that slum. Why should I give you the photograph? Just name your price. What if my price were not money? You claim to have connections, Mr. Bernadotti. Perhaps you could improve conditions for the refugees. Give them a chance for a better life. Ha! <laughs> I do have connections, Mr. Holmes. But help the whole camp. You are asking too much. I could, however, make arrangements for one person. The woman who was violated will have her own home outside the camp, solely for her and her child. She will no longer be a refugee, but a princess. That I can guarantee. Is that really possible? It will be neither fast nor easy, but I can do it. She deserves it, don't you agree? And as for her abuser, he will serve me as much as he deserves. So in your plan, everybody will be given their due. Especially you, Mr. Bernadotti. Seems like a fair deal. No? I doubt anyone could offer you better. Simply give me the photograph, and the world becomes a better place. I give you my word. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Such is the arrogance of British imperialism. I take your point. Okay. So... Uh, let's look at this. Uh, blackmail material. Bernadotti wants to gather proof of the envoy's crimes in order to blackmail him. Uh. Nila was violated and very nearly kidnapped. First of all, I must make sure that she and her baby are secured. So is there only one solution for this? Uh, Bernadotti wants to blackmail the envoy. Mr. Bernadotti, Bernadotti once, uh, knows how to turn a situation to his advantage. When he learned of the envoy's forcible violation, he saw an opportunity to gain greater power. He has offered me a deal, the photograph in exchange for a happy life for Neela. 
Merciless justice. The envoy is despicable, and Bernadotte is trying to take advantage of the situation. I cannot trust either of them. Only the truth will resolve the matters. I must take the photograph to Vogel so he can make everything public. Or, Bernadotte is a shady businessman, but his promise to arrange a happy life for Neela and her child was convincing. This is what truly matters now. Give Bernadotte the evidence to blackmail the envoy. So that is... Those are, are those our choices. Hold on. Hold on. Can I talk to you still? Give him photo. I need some time to consider your offer, Mr. Bernadotte. If you insist, Mr. Holmes. Come back when you're ready to give me the photograph. Hold on. So who can I talk to about... So this is still an option. And then there's this. Does it say we're actually missing a clue? We have not found everything. The front door's now open, sir. You can leave through it. If you want, of course. Hmm. I wonder if... Hold on. I wonder if I can go talk to this guy real fast. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards... I feel like... Uh, even though... Gosh. I don't really want to help them, you know? Oh, this is locked. So, okay, we cannot talk to that guy anymore, right? No, sir. Now the rules for coming in have become much more stringent. So, okay. So, like, uh... Huh. Okay, wait, so that... Okay, that is... Hold on. We're missing a clue, though. I give him the photograph so he can, or I can get, maybe I should go talk to Vogel. Let's run to Vogel and see what our options are. I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really want to work with, even though he could potentially even though he could maybe give the woman and child a better life, there really isn't justice, right? I feel like. That's where, that's where I'm. Uh, that's where I'm at. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Have you uncovered anything new about the theft? <laughs> That's it? And just give him the photo? There's no, like... Hold on. Not yet, Mr. Vogel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all the intensity for a... Mm, no. I'm missing a clue. I found the woman from the photograph. She's a young African refugee named Neela. It's gonna play this again. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Mr. Holmes. Have you uncovered anything new? <sighs> I feel like them? I need to give him the photograph and and he'll handle it, right? Or like the police are gonna handle it. That's the option. Hold on. Not yet, Mr. Vogel. Not yet. <laughs> He'd make everything public, which I feel like is... That's, I think, overall better. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't wanna collaborate with a shady businessman. That's what we're gonna do. I don't know what the other clue is. I, I'm sad that we didn't get all the clues, but... 
The envoy is despicable, and Bernadotte is trying to take advantage of the situation. I cannot trust either of them. Only the truth will resolve matters. I must give the photograph to Vogel so he can make everything public. Yeah. Now we get to watch this for the third time. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Have you uncovered anything new about yes. the set? Give him the photo. I've brought news, but not all of it will please you. Fill me in, Mr. Holmes. I won't shoot the messenger. Uh, well, I guess both is true. I located the thief, but found him rather cold. He was tight-lipped about the painting, too. Huh, he's dead. How very droll, Mr. Holmes. Another well, time, catch you later. You Emmers, have a good one. It was an accident at the refugee camp. He impaled himself on his own knife. Life is nothing if not cruel and capricious. I tracked down Boniface Mercurio. I presume he wasn't delighted about the situation. He was not having a good day on account of his murder. <laughs> killed in his own flat by the same person that stole his painting. Oh, sweet Mercurio. Perishing in the pursuit of his art. How apt. I will miss his exceptional sense of humor. What about the stolen painting? Have you located it? Uh, yeah. I found the painting, but I could not retrieve it. Well, then, where is it? In Bernadotti's office. Bernadotti? That shady businessman? Why would he steal it from me? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him yourself. Hmm. I take it you found something more, then. I found the source of Mercurio's artistic inspiration. A photograph. What troubled me was that the sexual act captured was non-consensual. She was violated? Dear God, how despicable. Her abuser was in fact the British envoy. Mercurio took a picture of him committing the atrocity and then used it as artistic inspiration. The whole situation is very no messed up. I had no idea a mere break-in would eventually expose such barbarity. Mr. Vogel, I want you to make everything public, including the photograph. I'm sure you have a connection at the Cordona Chronicle. Ah, uh, Mr. Holmes. Loyal to your own truth till the end. Yes, I'm acquainted with the staff of the Chronicle. The story is sensational, and will surely draw attention to the gallery. But you must be aware that exposing the scandal will further hurt the victim. Does that not bother you? No matter what one does, the truth tends to come out, as well it should. I won't be the one to stand in its way. Though it's only your subjective truth being exposed. Not that I'm judging. It's perfectly reasonable for everyone to have their own views. When you called me, you knew exactly what you would get. Oh, but I'm not like you, Mr. Holmes. I cannot be sure of anything. Regardless, I must thank you, for art's sake. Well, now that we've resolved all of our outstanding matters, I have a gift for you. I took the liberty of having it delivered to Stonewood Manor. I am told it belonged to your mother. Hmm. And what exactly have you sent me? Frankly, I'm not sure how to answer that. I trust you'll know. Previously, you mentioned there may have been more to my mother's passing than consumption. It appears you were right. Oh, dear. I had hoped to be wrong. She was unstable, mentally unwell. She required sustained specialized treatment, but her madness persisted. I knew that Violet had disappeared from the public eye, but had no idea of her suffering. I cannot imagine what you're feeling. I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. I am curious to see what you have procured. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, friends, this is going to be where we end for tonight. Uh, thank you guys for watching and hanging out. Apologies for the sudden intensity and story. Usually, I like to... Uh, usually I like to warn people <laughs> of that, that type of stuff, but I also did not know that it was going to be like this. So here we are. Um, let me go ahead. We're going to at least fast travel over there. So tomorrow we can head straight to the stone manor, stonewood manor and, um, and, uh, start, uh, start in investigating from there. I think we might try to finish this tomorrow. That's my goal. Uh, but thank you, friends, for, for watching and hanging out. I appreciate. I appreciate. Definitely not the most chatty of cases. Yeah. Very odd. Very odd turn of events. Um, IMO. Um, but 
Uh, yeah, the plan tomorrow is to uh, we'll, we'll we're gonna try to finish this. I think we only have like a case or two left, so I think we might just focus on the main story and then um, uh, move on. Move on from there. Oh, there you go. The music cut in. I was like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> it scared me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't recognize it at all. Uh, but all right. It looks like um, Nick is still cooking. Um, so we're going to uh, we're gonna go raid uh, Mr. Sputnik. Uh, I couldn't see the background well on my phone earlier. It's so cute. Oh, you like it? It's I'm I'm trying to update the um the the backgrounds with some more wintry things now that winter's kind of coming. So I have I've been working on some different oh the music's also pretty loud. Been working on some um some new backgrounds and I'm trying to use I'm not trying to use the snowy background for all of them <laughs> like the one wallpaper, but they're the most like cozy I think. But yeah, I've got uh, if I ha if I had chat for a second, you can see there's got a record player a fireplace a little coffee mug uh i thought it just it felt cozy to me um a little bookshelf over over there anyway uh but i really like it so i'm trying to i'm trying to make some more kind of cozier backgrounds so that we can for the winter time it just be nice and you know nice and cozy even if they don't fit the game necessarily i was my goal is cozy winter that's kind of that's kind of what we're doing. But all right, we're gonna go raid. Uh, we'll we'll raid Nick. Um, and uh, Tank, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate it. Um, I believe so. Mr. Sputnik has been doing um a. Uh, wait, is he still on? Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, he's been doing um a twelve hour stream today, and he's currently cooking. So we're gonna go. We'll, we'll raid him. Gonna uh be heading to bed soon, so I'll probably raid and run. Have a fantastic night. See you tomorrow for the end of Doctor Vampire. Yes, it's true. We're gonna try to finish it tomorrow. We're gonna try to finish it. Um, but friends, thank you again for being here. Uh, Val, Sassy, Emmers, everybody. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Um, Shady was here and gave, gave us some uh, some tips as well. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Um, that is it for us today. I will see you tomorrow. But I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye! <laughs>